Uh, I clock it over here, don't I? <laughs> Holy lag. David thirty six is ten forty one. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. If you'd like to just meet us down at the um the garage, please. I'm still diamond girl. <laughs> okay. Um so during this uh, academy, we're going to be training new FTOs. Um, you'll be taking a direct... Well, so the FTOs um, who are being trained, can you just step forward, please? Okay, beautiful. So, uh, for the sake of the cadets, can you introduce yourselves? Rank 24, Darius Makari. Met a couple of you at least. Rank 13, I was the marsh. Rank 15. Don't hop. No, you started. Oh. Rank 15, uh, Isaac Hollis. Rank 14, Francesco Clark. Okay. Um, brilliant. Okay, so these, uh, you guys will be uh, basically being observed by FTOs and assessed in your ability to teach. Um, any questions you have during the course of tonight, feel free to turn around. This is a learning process just as much as it is a test. So um, feel free to ask questions if you're unsure and we'll help direct you. Um, cadets, seeing the number of you, you'll probably each be given a FTO be uh, basically to uh, you'll you'll basically be pairing up because the numbers kind of add up that way. Um, but that will mostly be for when it comes to the physical side of uh, the the, pr the practical activities. Okay. Um, there's a few activities that will require a bit of teamwork, so. Don't worry, you won't be alone. We will be asking at certain points for people to take the initiative and sort of stand up to the plate and take control, okay? Yes, ma'am. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I don't know how uh, these nights generally tend to go, so I'm gonna pass you off to the good Lieutenant Hudson. All right. Um... Well, my uh, my main thing tonight is I am going to be watching not only the new cadets, but I'm going to be looking at my you know hopeful new FTOs because um, I'll be hopefully signing all of you off on uh, on FTO at the end of the night. Um, so I'm pretty much going I'm going to be floating around to each different group, just watching, listening, sort of taking notes, um, just seeing how the training is going. Um, Probably get feedback from the cadets at the end just to uh, see, you know, how um, how each FTO did. Uh, we probably um, what we can do also is we can sort of mix and match. Well, no, 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 because that's going to get confusing. Um, we'll we'll keep you with one particular um, FTO the whole time because otherwise you're going to spend ten minutes going, all right, did you cover this? Did you cover that? Blah blah blah. Um, uh, Maya, if you and um, uh, Rebecca want to, um, you know, circle around as well, um, just to keep an eye on, yeah, just just um, we're pretty much putting it into the uh, the training FTOs hands, and I'm gonna let you guys conduct this. Um, do you all have the uh, Marsh? Do you have the um, the FTS uh, 
cheat? Yes, yes, I do. You do? Okay, all right, cool. All right, so yeah, if, um, well, do you have the new one? You might not have the new one. I'll send it to you just in case. Okie dokie. Um, the one you sent me is the, the new one. one. That is the new one, yeah. You guys should all have the new one. Uh, let me send that really quick to you. No problem. Is that the one that's like a page and a half sort of thing? Oh, yeah, pretty much a page. Yeah. 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 Well, it's two pages, so yeah. Okay, you should have it now. Um, yep, that's the one I had, yeah. Thank okay, you. all right, good, good. Um, let's see. Yep, so um, uh, Armitage, I'm going to sort of let you um, direct, like, setting people up and everything. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. um, you, can, you can assign people. Um, I would assign them. Like different people for you, the uh, the different FTOs. Okay, that's fine. Um, can I get FTOs to line up side by side uh, by the cruisers over there, please? Yeah, I believe Greg will be back in uh, just a little bit. Yeah, no, I answer. Very convincing again, boss. All right, just give me a. Quick moment, I just want to have a very quick word with the cadets and then I'll unwind for you guys, okay? Right guys, how much do you guys know about highway patrol? Uh, vaguely. Doesn't have to be in depth. Uh, decent amount? Or do any of you have an interest in highway patrol? Uh, yeah. I would like to, to be fair, I would like to try, like, as much of the department as I can and then see where I'm best fit. Yeah, no, that's not not a problem. You'll have plenty of opportunity to do so. This is merely for me partnering you up tonight, okay? Okay. Um, Peralta, can you go join Marsh, please? All right, Excellent. I'm with Marsh. How's it going? Hey, boss. Oh, man. You are Peralta, yep. Uh, yeah, that's me, boss. Perfect, perfect. I'm with Makari. Right here. Hello, sir. How do you do? What's your name? Drew Flume. Uh, come again. Drew Flume. Flume. All right. Yeah. Drew. Is that short for Andrew? Or? Um, no, it's just what my mum named uh, me. Do you need any food or water, sir? I've got a little bit. Um, I'm all right just now. All right, perfect. You don't need to call me, sir. So. <laughs> it's, uh, it's automatic. I'll try my best. <laughs> Just call me, Mark. just call me. Hello, Abbas. That's all. Are you with me? And then we'll have. Oh, yes, you just call me whatever the hell you want. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll try my best. Okay, Hart, you'll be getting Greg tonight. Um. Okay. Uh, don't worry about it. He's fine. He's 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 a good uh, good learner. Um. Okay, so what I've done is I've basically kind of matched uh, possible aspirations with the relevant FTO. Marsh, you are very into your highway patrol, you know, Mustangs and stuff. Uh, Peralta has at least some inkling of a uh, interest oh, in that. Cool. Okay. Um, so early bonding is good. Um, Makari. I believe uh, you have taken quite a shine to the MBU unit. Therefore, Therefore. you will be getting Mr. Flume. Fair enough. I'll be honest, I completely forgot what I asked you, Phil. But, um... Any particular division? Atlas, you, uh, you, you need, like, phone train. I think we've already witnessed some part, so... Uh, yeah, basically that's why we'll be um, 
putting you with Phil, and then when uh, Greg is back, he'll be going with Hart. Okay? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. All right. Beautiful. Uh, feel free to get to know your partners tonight uh, and uh, try and have a good time. Okay? Yes. Uh, you, yes, ma'am. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, if it's at all possible, can I get the FTOs to kind of separate into pairs and um, so so take your take your pairs, go off to a separate location in this garage, and just give a quick like test of FT FTS one general knowledge, please. Right on. Yep. Come on, dirty. Fun. Right, yeah, uh, just just leave know, the you know what? We'll go a different. Us to go together like this or, uh... they're not all huddled together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See ya. That'll be not. What did, what did uh, uh, pair, pair up here. Yeah, pair up here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just pairs with the FTO yeah. and the trainee. Oh, I was a bit confused about that as well. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a real look. So. So, what have you covered so far then? Have you covered your FTS 1, yep. I'd imagine? Yes, sir, yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Let me just get my, uh, just make sure I'm on the right page here. Right, so I take it you've, um, you're quite familiar now with the, the layout of the police station, I take it, yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah, right, okay, okay. So, obviously with regards to the force continuum, now that's a very, very important element of our um, department, you know, um, it could be the, uh, it could be the difference between life and death in a situation. Yep. So, off the top of your head, if you tell me what would be required and what would be, if you were to use, say, level level three, okay. So what sort of equipment would you use, or what sort of uh, police equipment would you use during a level three? Um, so level three is when a suspect has brandished armed force, um, but they've not uh, aimed a weapon at someone. Um, okay. So we would brandish our firearm and we would make sure we don't aim it either to de-escalate rather than escalate. Right. So with level three, right, you yes, would, sir. that would permit the use of, I would say probably Im impact weapons. Okay. So you don't, a verbal warning wouldn't necessarily be, it would be necessary. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so for example, if the person uses non-lethal physical force, you know, like punching, kicking yes, against sir. an officer, um, you don't have to give them, you wouldn't have to give them a verbal warning in that instance, you know. Yes, sir. So that person could be tased. So that's that's what you would do in your, the sort of level three on the, on the continuum. Okay. Oh, is, is level three not um, where the suspect has brandished a weapon? That would be level four. Oh, interesting. I think the um, I've gone off the uh department manual. I think that might be outdated then. Um, uh, hang on, hang on. Good, good opportune moment here. Armitage. Um, are, is it the the document with the level five? Uh, the the five four levels of the continuum, is it like zero to five, or you just use zero? It? Uh, zero to five. I think. Yeah. Uh, there was um an issue with the link in the cadet pack being a bit outdated. All right, uh, okay. Was, yeah, well, thank you for been, following, Tyler. Um, do you need a copy of the new one? Um, I think I remember the other one. Um, I, I looked at both of them just in case. I just didn't know which one it is. Okay. All right. That's fine. Um, well, we can run over. We can run over okay. the, the five levels anyway. Um, you know, just to kind of keep it fresh. Yeah, yeah. I can, there's, uh, there's should be able to answer just, it. There's, there's just some of them are obviously there's an extra level there and some of them yeah. are about jigged about. So level three force continuum, um, you know, if the person was just to start kicking, punching an officer or yourself, you yes, know, they're not using lethal force, then you you wouldn't have to give them a, a verbal warning. You could go ahead and tase them. 
yes, or sir. strike them with a police baton if you're fairly brutal. Yes, sir. Um, but yeah, if you if you can um, safely tase them without obviously trying to inflict too much injury injury on them. For example, if they're standing at the edge of a a high drop, you're not going to tase them because if they fall, they exactly, could seriously they injure themselves, possibly die. Yeah. Yep. Now, if you were to, if I'd say on this instance, because I'm using a different document, um, so level one. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, that right. would be verbal commands and physical restraint. Um, yep. So if the suspect is being um, unresponsive to like verbal commands, um, then we give them maybe a lawful order to vacate the vacate the area, um, and then if they're refusing a lawful order, uh, then they could be escorted or restrained um, and taken elsewhere. Very good. Go on. Now, the highest level in the force continuum, which is the one that you always hope that you never have to use. Yep. Um, that would be use of deadly force. So if a suspect is actively firing upon officers or civilians, um, and then you would you would aim to maim rather than aim to kill. So shoot them in the legs, arms, etc. Yep. And this would also probably fall in with our, our rules of engagement as well. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, so obviously we don't... You don't want to escalate the situation. You know, that's obviously first and foremost. Your, yes, sir. your job is to try and de-escalate it without any loss of life or any, you know, serious injuries. But unfortunately, in this city, there is times where you don't have that luxury with some, some of individuals around the city. Unfortunately not, no. Yep. So, answer me this one. So, in terms of the rules of engagement then, during a standoff or a shootout, what would you do in that situation? You turn, so say you turned up at a scene, there is an, maybe an active shootout currently ongoing. So you say, say Armitage here and myself, you know, we're under fire. Okay. And, you know, we couldn't really fall back, but we needed backup. You turned up with the cruiser. What do you do? Um, I'd try and put my cruiser in a position between uh, yourselves if you can't, if you're not got good coverage. Um, try and put it between yourselves, hide behind my engine block and issue commands of the suspect to stop. Um, unlikely that they will at this point as they're already shooting at officers. Um, but if not, um, I'd try and uh, aim for the aim for the knees so they can't run. Yep. Yep. Okay, very good. Very good. But also, yeah, your first priority is is, is officer safety. As well. Yeah, preservation. You know, and yeah. obviously, if it's myself and Armitage, you know, your priority, you, yes, sir. you know, you want to try and protect your officers, um, your your colleagues and yourself as well, because you're, you're no use to anyone if you end up putting yourself in, ha uh, put yourself in harm's way needlessly. Um, yeah. A good way I've always seen it is criminals often choose to... Uh, do their actions we're merely responding and trying to resolve them so yeah. officer lives first okay yes, very good very good thank you very much so in terms of the you're out on active patrol and you see an individual if you're parked up in an individual's went flying past you in legion square say they're going Say, let's go 90 miles an hour. What would you do in that, is, that instance? Um, I would immediately light up and siren up and pursue the suspect. Um, I would call it in that I'm in a, an active 1080, describe the vehicle, describe what I clocked them at, um, okay. describe the street and the direction of travel. Perfect. And if the, if the um, speeding vehicle decides to pull over immediately, which usually is a rarity, but... Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, I would call in an active 1038, uh, describe the occupants, car, uh, direction that you are facing, and the street name, uh, and if I require additionals or not. Yep. That's, that's, that's good. Um, yeah. At any point, if you do feel that the situation could be dangerous, obviously depending on 
if you can get a confirmed visual of the person behind the wheel, um, then yes, it's always advisable to um, call in additionals. Yes, sir. Okay, so don't take any risks. You know, if yeah. it is maybe for argument's sake, Mayor Bryn, for example, mm -hmm. you know, you're not going to expect him to uh, to verbal yeah. abuse or, yeah. or, or try and harm you in any way. So you're 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 totally fine to deal with that situation yourself. Yeah, there have been uh, multiple uh, in my experience, multiple occasions where I've done a traffic stop and been shot. Uh, so I I tend to uh, call for additionals if there's more than one suspect. I think we've all been there at some point. Yep. So, um, no, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, okay. Um, let me have a little look here. Now, I'm not actually doing anything in particular order. I'm just literally just picking yep, elements no here. Worries. Just, you know. Uh, feel free to go through things such as the um, the first parts of the FTS2 as well. Um, that's, it. that's what I was going to. That's what I was going to think about doing. You know, maybe quiz you on a few things that maybe you've not fully went over yet. You know, because see see how you fare up with that. Yeah, just to see where where I'm kind of up to. No problem. So, for argument's sake, let's let's put it let's put this. So, you turn up to a active evangelical robbery. Yes, sir. Okay? Um, say multiple units have radioed that they will be um, attaching to that call, but you are the first officer on scene. Okay, so okay. I'll put you in a scenario. So there's three individuals armed with a hostage, clearly visible. Okay, now what is your what is your priority in that 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 first? interaction what is what is your priority uh, my priority is making sure the hostage doesn't get shot um i want to make sure the hostage takers um are calm so that they don't do anything erratic so i'd probably yep. park a little bit away from the door um like a good distance so i'm not making them feel like they're pressured um yep. before i would approach them i would wait for more units to arrive um in case they shoot the hostage and myself as i would be quite outnumbered and because then like armitage touched on earlier as well you know our job is to resolve the situation you know yep. um as opposed to you know we we want to de-escalate yeah you know, exactly yes to a point to a certain point you know with the suspects in the, the the jewelry store you want them to kind of you want them to think they're in control with the, of the situation exactly you know because obviously you don't want them to feel threatened because you don't want to put the hostage's life at risk or their health at risk. So your priority is just basically to turn up, make sure, make contact with whoever it is in that group is doing the talking. And obviously, first and foremost, make sure the hostage is okay. That's first and <laughs> foremost. Um, and then you find out their demands. Oh. Find out what they're after, and you know, obviously, you will do what you can in order to meet those needs to get that hostage safe. Obviously, there is some requests that we don't, we cannot fulfil. Like, for example, if they asked for a highway patrol Mustang or Air One helicopter parked down for them to take away, you know very far-fetched yep. requests you know it has to be within reason you know if they turned exactly, around and yeah. said can you bring us a vehicle you know if you bring us a vehicle you know then we could we can do that you know yeah we... especially if they just say a vehicle but if they haven't specified what type of vehicle it is or you know run it around the block a couple of times to lower the gas on it <laughs> yeah that would have been known to do that on occasion um you know but like it's your turn around and say, yeah, no problem, we'll do that for you. Give them the sense that they're in control, you know. Exactly. And yeah. By the time they get the hostage, if the hostage is away and safe, and they get in that vehicle, you know, that's it. They're, uh, then it probably more likely turns into a, an active pursuit. But yes, the hostage is your priority. 
you know, yeah. do not take any risks. If you're the only officer on scene, you know, if there's no other, say the other officers are dealing with something else, you know, and you're the only one there and no one else turns up for backup, then your priority is just to get that hostage out safe. Yes, sir. Let them go, you know, because they're not they're not worth your they're not worth the risk. Yeah. You know, you need to get that hostage safe. Yes, so, sir. No, no being a hero. Um, no being a hero. Yep. No being a hero. Perfect. So, obviously, with part of FPS two, um, you know, you will we will get you at some point to to demonstrate, you know, pit maneuvers, you know. Yes, sir. Some traffic stops. Um, if you're turning up as a secondary to a traffic stop with the other suspect, might potentially be dangerous. Where a a backup backup is needed. Okay. We'll show you how to park your vehicle um, behind the the primary. Yes, sir. Unit, just in case um, that suspect decides to flee, so you can start the pursuit pretty quickly. So we'll get you to do some tra active traffic stops. Um, get you to demonstrate and practice the use of spike strips. You know, sometimes we don't use spike strips are are a very sort of quite a hard one to, to master, you know, because yeah. at the end of the day, you need to be very, communication is key if you're ever using spike strips, because time and again, um, and I've done it before, <laughs> as part of the learning, I uh, accidentally spiked the... Uh, Your officers, the, yeah. The, uh, the chief. <laughs> oh, shit. But yep. Is, so, um, uh, is our supplier for the spike strips, are they back to normal again? So I heard they had some manufacturing issues and we weren't meant to use them for now. Yeah, I would I would avoid using them for the moment. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's always handy to know how to use them. Um, right. Okay. You know, even if we can just pretend, you know, um, I because it's all about positioning. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Communication. Um, we'll get into put down spike strips later, but we'll do it in a controlled location. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, some place away from locals. Um, no problem. Um, so. In terms of, you know, obviously you say store robberies taking place and you have you and your partner or whoever's attended with you, you managed to apprehend the suspect. Now the suspect is armed, okay? They haven't, brand, they haven't aimed a weapon at you and they are masked, but if you have managed to tase them, and get them in cuffs. Mm -hmm. What is the sort of procedure then, once you've got them in cuffs? Um, so you take them back to MRPD for processing. If they haven't used their weapon, um, they wouldn't get their license revoked, from what I understand. Okay. Um, and then just process them. So get them to remove their mask, take their fingerprints, um, take any evidence uh, you'd obviously have to take the weapon off of them uh, since you send them up to Bolenbrook. um and then yeah go through the report procedure okay what i would advise and correct me if i'm wrong here armitage um i'm hoping you will correct me if i'm wrong um once you do have them detained i.e in cuffs what i would suggest if they are, for example, armed, okay, so you know they are carrying a dangerous weapon, what I would do is, first and foremost, place them under arrest, okay, and read them their Miranda rights as soon as you can. Yep. Okay, and also, I would, if they can, I would remove the mask to reveal who it is, and also then, I would, me personally, I would search them and remove the deadly weapon from the person before I put them in a, a vehicle with myself. Okay. And bring them down to MRPD. Um, so that's that. I would only do that if I knew they had a weapon, i.e., you know, if they had the weapon out at the store, I know they're carrying it. So I'm not going to let them in my, even though they're handcuffed, I'm not going to let them in my car without, with a deadly with, weapon. We carry yeah. a firearm. Okay. So, yeah. So it's always advisable just safety first. You know, because there are some crafty criminals out there. They'll take mm. advantage. Um, 
hoping it will uh, make sense later when we do felony stops. Yep. But um, I personally would base it on the situation. Uh, am I yep. certain there's only one individual? Yes. Then yes, you you take you identify them, detain them, take their stuff off them immediately. Uh, if you think there might be an accomplice in the area, I I'll be in the uh, car that you're stopping or the building that you're searching. I would actually detain and place them in your car until you've properly searched the area. Once you have made sure that they are alone or you've detained the other suspects, then go through and search. Uh, you can feel free to take them out your cruiser and search them. Think of the cruiser as a temporary prison cell. Okay. Okay. There you have it. I'll spot. It. Uh, yep, that's exactly. I would. That's exactly what um, I would 100% agree with Armitage there. Yeah, gauge the situation. Um, you know, because sometimes I'll well, depending who the the individual is, um, sometimes you'll find it's the exact same thing over and over. But okay. Sometimes they do throw a curveball at you. You always have to be prepared. Okay. Dokie. Yep. Um. And you obviously know how to, you know, for example, if you apprehend a suspect and they don't have any mugshot or fingerprints, you know how to, to uh, add all of that on. Yes, sir. Perfect. Perfect. Stuff. Have you got any sort of questions you want to ask? Like any, any, anything you want to ask about the different procedures and how something's carried out or? Um, no, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, pretty confident with uh, what I've been taught so far. Good. Good. Uh, who's who? Who is it? Who's initially training you? Um, it was. That one's just going to be uh, ten, seven for ten. Mate. I believe it was a mixture of myself and Hart, was it not? Oh well, you're sorted then. Yes, yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Yes. Absolutely sorted then. So you'll be, you'll be clued up. Good stuff. Yeah, well, I think uh, quite satisfied with uh, your responses and you know your your general knowledge and you know your basic knowledge of uh, procedures and also some of the more sort of advanced elements. Um, so yeah, um, look forward to when we get out to the get out to the fun stuff, the practical side of things. Yes, sir. Um, and, and also, sorry, um, once once you manage to you know, pass out, um, you know, from once you become uh, a PO, um, you know, if you are interested in, for example, looking to, to aim to be SAP certified, then, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge. Um, yes, sir. It. Awesome. Yeah, I was... I'm, uh... um, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty satisfied here, um, Armitage. Okay. Okay, um, so the next bit will probably be going on to more practical things. Uh, so we'll just wait for the other two groups to be done. Um, let me just check in with them, see how they're doing. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Perfect. Yeah, my last uh, my last department, um, it was a unified police department, and I was uh, part of the state troopers. Um, All right. So Very I, nice. so I do like do like the highways. <laughs> yep. Well, I was um, before, obviously the. All the sort of units sort of amalgamate, amalgamated. I was um, part of the. Uh, I was one of the senior supervisors for um, the actual. We did have a highway patrol division. Oh right, okay. Um, so I was a. I was a sergeant before, but I uh, I left to uh, take up the role of uh, fire chief of the Los Santos Fire Department, which okay. I still am, but on a part time basis. But the to some budget cuts um you know we're struggling with yeah. staffing levels so i came back um understandable came back to so uh but yeah i'm still still sap certified and stuff like that so all right nice it's, yeah I'm don't get me wrong it's uh it is difficult you know because some of the drivers out there you know some of the cars that are flying around you know they yeah, are um fast as shit yeah but we yeah. try we try not use the mustang too often because yeah are fast as only with uh like very fast personal vehicles that was kind of the same ruling we had in uh yep. the last department that i ran was we uh when we had very very fast 
personal cars. That's the only time yep. we bring out like the Mustang, the yep. um, I'm trying to think all the names of the cars we used. But uh, Corvette, Mustang, Corvette, um, and then what else do we have? Char- Charger, no, yep. um, Challenger. Sorry, all right, Charger yeah. was a um, a sergeant and above ranked vehicle. Yeah, we used to well. At the moment, we now mainly use, well we use the the Mustang for high speed pursuits. We did yep. have however, we did used to have the Corvette and the Camaro. Um, oh, Camaro, de- nice. Yeah, but we've decommissioned them. Okay. Um, you know, we've focused more on the Mustang just because of, overall it's a it's a better vehicle. And yeah, and it's a lot easier for the um, for the PD mechanic team to uh, yep. tune it. I can imagine rather than yes. tuning three different cars. Yep, hundred percent. Like the the Corvette was like lightning fast, but yeah, trying to chase someone through the city on that thing terrible. Not a chance. Uh, the Camaro handling was phenomenal, but back, top speed wasn't the greatest. Yeah, it's we had uh, with all of our three Inceptors, it was kind of the same, um, but we intentionally had it as that because uh, we'd want one that is, for example, how we have the uh, Capri here and the uh, Polvic. Um, yep. The Capri is much better high speed, but terrible handling. But the yep. Polvic is good handling, terrible high speed. So we kind of did a mix and match with the the Interceptors and the others. We want one that is yep. very good high speed and one that is much better at handling, but a bit slower, stuff like that. Right. Brilliant. Uh, two seconds. Um, yeah, no worries. Frank 13, staff one. 10-4. Um, can I get, possibly get a wee quick meeting with you? Um, after the academy. Sure. Um, there's actually one thing that I did have a question about. The yes. Do you know how on the profiles it automatically has uh, a linked image URL? I noticed that we have something in the our group emails that mm-hmm. called Captain Hook. How does that work? Um, so with regards to, um, I think you, you don't get access to it as a. Oh, right, okay. Once you become a PO, to you a uh, PO, sorry, um, you'll get access to the evidence camera. Okay. So. You can, it's got a Wi Fi, well, it's got basically a, a network link that yep. whenever you take photographs, it, it, it helps you Auto find loads. evidence. Okay. And okay. as soon as you take, take a photograph, it automatically emails it into the database. All right, perfect. Um, so, as as of now, then, as, as, as a cadet, do I just use like a, a personal image system? Yes. Okay. Um, and then. Um, yes, yeah, so yeah, do that for the moment and okay. then put it in the image links database. Yeah. Tempo. But yeah, the evidence camera is a very, very useful tool. But yeah, once once you become PO one, that's when you can start learning, you know, some of the, the fun stuff, you know, like yeah, yeah. Uh, SWAT training. Yeah, that's um, uh, SAP, exciting. SAP, uh, get SAP certification, you know, if that's what you want to push towards. And also, um, it's always handy to, if you want, to get trained up in the MBU as well. Yeah, I'm I'm wanting to be as certified as I can possibly be. Um, yep. So I can basically be used where, I, where I'm needed, be flexible. Um, yep. So I was Air One trained, SWAT trained, um... What else? Inceptor trained. Yep. Uh, all of those in in the last city. I was. Uh... Good, good. Um, yeah. So it's always handy to more or less have um, uh, be certified in various different aspects. You know, like you said, you know, it's it's good to be versatile. So you can, if you're, if, for example, if you're the only. If they need some like a high speed pursuit vehicle, you could be on hand to to do that or you know, if they require an MBU. Um free following a potential shots fired. 
at the, this fringe guy. Ooh la la. Ah, wee oui, wee. Oui. So what's your kind of history in the department? Where have you come from? Where, what did you uh, kind of want to become? Well, I was originally, um, I was a police officer um, back in Scotland. Um, oh, right. And then, you know, kind of decided to come over here, you know, a bit more yep, excitement. Yep. Um, you know, I've seen now this is my third uh, chief. Um, okay. So... First chief was Ace Rillett, but uh, he was he turned out to be corrupt. Oh uh, shit! Yeah, uh, and then it was um, it was chief commission. Uh, it was chief hunter. For okay, a while. yeah, yeah. And then he became commissioner. Oh um, right, okay. And then uh, Arthur then took over the mantle. Oh nice. Um, and he's. Wait, sorry to interrupt. Uh, no we're problem. just going to be doing a quick uh, radar thing. Do you know how to use your radar? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, when you do a done chatting if you if you wanna uh, go and observe and hear if they've got any other ideas that you're otherwise unaware of or haven't covered you know feel free um or just continue to mingle and uh, we'll get to the next stage as soon as possible okay 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 no problem right, thank you much pop over concrete what is um taken off or what's added um But it, that just comes down to your your discretion at the end of the day. Um, and as far as procedure of putting the suspect in the cells, as I said um, yesterday with the other two cadets, it is very important that once you bring a suspect into MRPD itself, that every door you walk through is locked behind you. Um, we've had a couple of occasions where just one door has been locked. Uh, locked and the other one hasn't and it has caused a few um, issues in the past especially with a certain person that we won't mention um when it comes down to cell choice it comes i think another person he's talking about <laughs> the suspect unless there is a large group then just put them wherever they'll fit try and keep them to separate cells unless it is physically impossible then it will be the bigger cell will have two and then each other one will have a singular um, if it is a single suspect, once they are put in the cells, um, make sure they are soft cuffed first, and then once you leave the cell, unlock uh, lock the cell, and that's them to come to the bars to remove the cuffs from that person. Um, before you take the cuffs off, I would suggest one final search of the person, just in case anything has been put on them after the cuffs were attached on scene. Um, but uh, as I said, the rest of it, the MDT side of things, you know, um, and then I imagine because of that, you've also seen um, charges and all that kind of side of things being read out as well. So as far as I'm aware, that side of things is is covered. Uh, do you have any questions? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, Hart, is there anything you want to add to that? Nothing leaps to mind, and it seems we have an audience. Yo, Phil, appreciate you following, homie. Yes. So as, as far as I'm aware, that's that's everything. Um, if you do have any more questions, obviously feel free to uh, ask whenever you want to. Uh, Lieutenant, we're ready to continue when you're ready. Okay. Um. Oh, welcome back, Summers. Right, uh, let me see. Sorry, what was that? What was that, Summers? I couldn't hear you. Oh, he's he's doing some miming, I think. You are extremely quiet, Summers. I can the process of nature itself once you're actually actually doing it more. I can't lip read. All right. Liquid is the best. Is it right, Josh? Sometimes. Yeah. 
Americans don't do war after All right. Uh, does anybody need um, want to take like a, about a five minute break and uh, grab some food or drink or sounds wonderful. The All right. Let's do that and then we'll um we'll meet. We're gonna meet up down at um the underground uh, uh track. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. If the FTOs can guide their cadets to the underground car park when they're back and. Can we have the FTOs grab a Durango each and the cadets grab either a Caprice or a Crown Vic each? Um, just to make it easier on catch up mechanics during the next activities. Okay. Sure thing. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Thank you very much. Sounds good. So what this are you? Is missed. Uh, yeah, you want to yeah, grab so, yeah, what I'll do or is smoke and yes, sir. Can park oh, it nice uh, okay. next to my Durango there. Well, okay, sir. It's a lot of talking, but it, it's important. Yeah, I mean, it's that was... Very important. That was essentially the most boring part of tonight. Um, going forward, Now we get through the fun shite. Yeah, pretty much the next bit's all going to be practical, te uh, practical um, assessments, and uh, just with a little bit of explaining involved, essentially. Okay? Cool. Yeah, I don't know people's teaching styles. I'm sure they're all going to teach it differently. Um, but we'll have a very quick brief with the FTOs just to sort of go over how, how the next stages will be done, okay? If you've read over what your FTS is involved, um, essentially you've got uh, spike, strip, spike strip training, hit training, and um, only stops to go over. Okay. I don't think that spike strips are not really going to be happening due to the fact that they get trust me, they will. Concrete. Yeah, trust me, Ooh, they will. The, their usage will be very simple tonight because of that, but we will be making you use them. Okay. This one. I'm going to go and set up shop. Set to do the uh, pit training. Great. It's going to be very cool. It is. Well, I actually need to, need to put some shit in my locker and grab some more armor because I'm quite heavy. <laughs> Okay, two of them. And that's it. Five more. Oh, Drake, and how much that way? Fifteen. Fucking A. Oofed. There's an empty one as well. Right, so I need. Sometimes heavy armor, sometimes light armor. Uh, I need a lot pick.
me do this every time I come on duty. Do I not have five M on? Explains a lot. Oop. Hi, sir. All right, sir. Just uh, popping up my armor. No problem. We're heading down there now, sir. Yeah, Bob's just heading there in a wee second. Uh, perfect. Are we, uh, are we staying on Radio 1 or are we switching Radio 2? Um, I'm not sure, actually. Didn't hear anything. I wouldn't say anything otherwise. Okay. Right, let's go. All right. I'm happy and ready. Yeah, yep. Are we um are we staying on pack one or we switch over to pack two? Um we I thought Capella had said for general to switch to oh, right. Key. Okay. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my god. Pack thirteen uh, requesting a new set of underwear, please. <laughs> Code three. I'm gonna find uh, key keyboard key code names. Just trying to remember what Radio the. Radio to Charles to direct. Yeah, that's up. Okay, I just didn't know if you guys were still on tax one. We'll switch to tax two. Uh, all training units, go ahead and switch to tax two. I already told the general oh, cool. control to go to tax two. Oh, do you want to keep it that way then? I mean, I suppose now. David, 30, where's your location? I'm just outside the police station. Alright. Just come up behind me, we're gonna be gone. Radio check. Making one on taxi.
Sorry, go past. If you're looking for where you're going, I can yeah, you I, just I, came from there. I think it's behind. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, follow me. Thank you, boss. Yeah. They got. They got a little lost then. Switching to tag two now. Are they struggling to get here? I think so, yeah. I was following them and they would took a wrong turn. <laughs> Daddy. Didi brings the wee woo to you. Have a wee woo day. Maybe 30, did you make it to tech 2? Yeah, I think. Okay. Okie dokie. So, that is probably got to be the most boring bit of tonight over and done with. Hooray. Nothing too hard. Stuff we've uh, all dealt with before. Just a bit of a reminder. All that good stuff. Um, so, from observing, I could tell that Things were being explained from uh, radio codes, force continuum, um, negotiations, breaches, pursuits, uh, the rank structure I think I heard was covered, was good. The um, cuffing exercises as well. Uh, is anyone unclear on how to cuff safely? No. Okay, good. Uh, everyone knows how to take fingerprints, DNA, run DNA, stuff like that. Uh, unsure about the DNA, but I know how to take fingerprints. Okay, DNA is very similar, but you're using a different, uh, you're using swabs with the mouth, okay? Okay. Okay. I believe once you are promoted from cadet, you should have access to those things. The DNA okay. kit and uh, things like that. You they can get your own evidence bags, stuff like that as well. So. I believe the swabs are unfortunately restricted to PO2 and above, Lieutenant. Yeah, I think oh, so. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, I believe I've witnessed each and every single one of you uh, processing someone in the cells, so I know you've got that covered. If anyone is unsure of anything in that regard, please raise your voice now. Um, I have stood by and watched um, a couple of other officers process somebody, but have not yet had the, uh, the joys of doing so myself. Okay, okay. We'll make sure uh, next, uh, next time you're on shift, any of you guys are on shift and you get an arrest, uh, whether or not he was there, let him come in and uh, call him in and let him process. So he can get that experience. Yeah, if this need, is... If needs uh, be, I'll add him work with myself for an entire shift and we'll make sure you get something. Hmm. So this is something I, I quickly want to touch base on with pretty much everyone here. Um, when 
you're in the cells, whether you've made the arrest or not, whether you are arresting one individual or a group of individuals, it's always good practice to take your fellow officers off to one side out of earshot of the criminals, discuss what happened during the scene, discuss what each of their crimes are, make sure everyone's, you know, on the same page before going ahead with processing, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, uh, moving on. The first activity for tonight will be traffic stops. So this is a two-parter. Um, the first part, we're actually going to have you split off into your partners again. And this will be to basically have the cadets perform a traffic stop on your FTO. Um, you can feel free to come up with your own scenario of why you're pulling them over. Okay, now bear in mind this is a traffic stop, it's nothing too heinous. I want you to run through the motions. I want you to, you know, call in exactly what you're doing. And I want you to basically issue at least a citation. Your FDO should be able to give you a rundown of safe practice during this and the order of things. And then I want you to basically put it into action. Okay? Okay. Okay. After which, once we've done, when, once we've all done those and um, you've returned back here, we'll be moving on to a felony stop. A felony stop is obviously more of a enhanced traffic stop. It's a um, used use particularly when it's involving actual felons or dangerous individuals. It requires the use of police backup as you never want to be handling it alone. So what we'll be doing is we'll be having that be a group activity between the cadets arresting an FTO. Or group of FTOs. Actually, you know what? That's a good idea. Why don't we get a car full of FTOs being criminals? I would love to see how you handle it. Okay? Seem, seems unrealistic to me, but... Any reason? I mean, the four of us committing crimes. It was a joke, Armitage. I don't know. No, knowing you guys, like, <laughs> I, I feel like, you know, I wouldn't put it past you. But anyway, um, if you'd like to take your cadets off to a different area inside this car, uh, car park and just uh, go over the steps of a traffic stop and then uh, put one into practice, please. Right with me. Ralta, go grab your, your vehicle and yes, sir. bring up behind me. Same for you, someone just grab your vehicle. Just over to your right. Oh, my follower in the wrong person. <laughs> yep. Right, so I'm not going to insult your intelligence considering uh -huh. the conversation we had back at MRPD. Um, yes, sir. So, obviously, you've got experience before, um, you know, when it comes to um, traffic stops, etc. Yes, sir. So, what, I'll go, what I'm going to do is I will pull away, and then you just follow me for maybe five seconds or so, and then just I'll let's go for the long run. 
let's run the scenario that I you clocked me going. Uh, let's do 85 miles per hour in the city limits. Okay, yes, sir. Okay, okay. So let's go. We uh, are we using the radio for this or no? Keeping it clear. Um, not for the moment. Just pretend as though you're on the radio, but make sure your voice is raised. Okay, so yes, I sir. Okay. Uh, sure, I'll be, uh, observing. Yeah. Uh, can you turn the engine off for me, please, sir? Uh... Going to be at in an active 1038 um, with a four door uh, SUV vehicle, black and white. Uh, there are two occupants. Uh, we're going to be facing northbound Alter Street. Uh, one additional required. Hey, sir, can you roll the window down for me, please? Certainly, certainly. Um, my name is Jacob Prolter with the Los Santos Police Department. Do you have any idea why I pulled you over today, sir? Oh, nice to meet you, officer. I have not got an idea why you pulled me over. I am actually in a rush for a hair appointment. Right, okay. Are you aware of the, uh, the speed limits within the city limits, sir? Oh, yes, yes. Do you know what that is? Um, yes. Uh, yeah, I might have been going a wee bit over the limit. Yeah, I, I clocked you going uh, 35 over. Over. You're coming in at 85, sir. Oh, <clears throat> damn. Do you have your license registration with you? Um, certainly. Perfect. All right. Cool. Just hold tight for me, sir. I'm just going to run your info. Just make sure you keep your engine off and sit tight for me. Definitely. What's up, sir? No, yeah, sometimes cool. when an uh, occupant has a... Well, whenever there's a passenger, sometimes when they try to hand over their ID... Oh, right, yeah, yeah. ...show the... Uh, Quick, please, officer. I'm going to be late for my hair appointment. Trying to run it my best for you, sir. I need to do uh, make sure I'm doing everything correctly. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, so at this point, I'm going to be checking if the suspect has warrants and checking if the vehicle is flagged as stolen, um, which neither of those is the case. All right, sir. So it doesn't look like you've got any outstanding warrants. Your car's in good shape, and uh, uh, we don't have any issues with your vehicle. Um, so I'm going to be issue you, issuing you a citation. Oh, really? Uh, unfortunately, yes, sir, because uh, you were coming quite fast into the, the city. You could have killed someone, sir. Do you understand this? What if I, t yeah, what if I took you to Uwu and, and bought you lunch? Would you, would you waive the citation? I wouldn't weigh the citation. You can buy me lunch, but that wouldn't that would you still be getting the citation, sir. That would be uh that would be a form of bribery. Oh. Right. Okay then. Um issue issue me with the citation. Okay, let's have a look here. All right, sir, so since you were going uh, 35 miles per hour over the uh, speed limits in the city, you're going to be looking at a $1,000 fine. Oh. 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 I'll need to phone and cancel my hair appointment now. Right, uh, fine. I'll pay it. Okay. 
I haven't actually, uh, at this point, I haven't actually been shown how to grab someone's kind of in-city ID oh, to okay. be able to find them. You, as we right. see, you, you can ask them that. Oh, right, okay. Um, what their ID number is. Is there any way for me to find out, just in case? They, they wouldn't lie, really, but it's... So, uh... you probably didn't catch it before when you asked for um, identification and registration, but um, if you could just go flash that one more time, please, Marsh. Because no, cool. I received it. <laughs> oh, did it display on there? Uh... I didn't see it on there. Are you meaning for issuing the actual fine? Yeah, yeah, the, uh, oh, the magical numbers. Yeah. yeah. Well, what you can do is if you think about fine. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm used to this. Look at the brackets. Yeah, yeah perfect. All right, um, so then I would issue the $1,000 fine. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll carry on from here. Um, all right, okay. sir, um, can you just sign right here on the bottom of the paperwork, please? Um, I don't have that, that money on me at the moment. Um, can I pay it another day? Uh, well, how it's worked is it'll just be billed to you, sir. So you just have to sign at the bottom. This isn't admitting guilt. This is purely admitting that you have uh, received this citation. Right. When when do I have to have this paid by? Um, that is typically on the court, sir. I'm not a hundred percent, um, and you can dispute this in court as okay. well. Okay. okay. No problem. I'll just sign here. Okay. Yep. Just at the bottom. Thank you. Perfect. Um, now, when uh, when I turn off my lights, you'll be free to go, sir. Just uh, make okay, sure you're driving a little bit safer, okay? Thank you for right. ruining my hair appointment. Thank you for being cooperative. Uh, the active 1038 on Alter Street northbound is code 4. Very good. Well handled. Thank you very much. A couple of wee things I would say is yep. initially when you pulled over when you you done the radio, um you deemed it as a traffic stop where you would you asked for an additional. So for a standard uh, yes, traffic stop like that, you know, um then you wouldn't normally ask for backup unless it was a felony stop. So if you knew for a fact that the individuals in the vehicle were deemed dangerous, then would you, you call for backup? Would you not call a backup if there's multiple suspects? It depends on who it is. You know, if you can, right. okay. for example, like I, I know I keep using an example, but if you see Brennan and Martha in the, yeah. in the vehicle, you wouldn't call for backup. No, okay. Okay. Um, however, if they are being quite verbally abusive, when you do pull them over and there's two of them, then yeah. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Um, now, in terms of the fine, um, you know, uh, good good responses though. Um, when it comes to a fine, if someone doesn't have the money to pay the fine there and then, okay. Um, you can give them up to seventy two hours to pay the fine. Right. Okay. Okay. If they fail to pay that, then a warrant can be issued. Right. Okay. For failure to paying a fine. Okay. Um, but yeah, normally I would say probably 90% of the time, you know, they pay the fine there and then, um, unless they've been a very, very awkward individual. But yeah, okay. 72 hours. 72 hours and then yep. warrant can be issued. Okay. Yeah. So always, I would, I would obviously make sure. So if you do conduct a traffic stop and they can't pay the fine, can you write a, a little incident report? Just make sure that you put down in it, um, clearly for anyone to see that um, they have an outstanding fine to pay. Just so if okay. any other officer is looking through the incident reports, like the supervisors as well, um, they'll know someone's got an outstanding fine. And how do I flag that again, sorry, sir? So whenever you're writing your incident report, yep. 
Okay, so for example, Palace of Marsh, um, pulled over, pop going 85 in a 60 zone, um, issued a, you know, uh, issued with the speeding ticket, um, but didn't have the money to pay at the time. Oh, just put that in the, in the, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, right, okay. I, th I thought you mean like there's a, a way to flag it, kind of like with uh, warrants. Okay, perfect. Oh yeah, Got if it. they fail to pay, if they pay, fail to pay the fine, then it gets flagged. Seventy-two hours, then yes, that you flag that as a warrant. But uh, speak to your supervisor uh, yes, first sir. before doing that. So yeah, apart from that though, um, good, good vehicle positioning. Thank you. Uh, do you know why you position your vehicle like that? Um, because the engine block is the most bulletproof part of the vehicle, so if the suspect gets out and shoot, you can just quickly take cover. Also? Um, it protects... Bastard over here. Protects you, you from be. incoming uh, traffic. Yep. Exactly. Spot Traffic's on. More, more likely to ricochet off and bounce away from you rather than into you. Um, I also just want to do a quick touch up on things like reductions to a citation. Okay. Um, yeah, you know, uh, it typically when you do charges for someone you're processing, it set, gives you a recommended sentence and fine. Yes. Uh, yeah. Right. Recommended for a reason. Reductions are very common. Um, okay. I would definitely suggest that if you haven't observed much in the way of wrongdoing from the individuals who are cite given a citation to. And if they've been cordial, as in very nice to you. Yep. Um, now, this does not count for bribing. Bribing is a crime. But yes, if they yep. have been understanding, nice, and haven't been a dick to you, you can feel free to, you know, drop that citation down a bit. But they do still need to be cited. What would you say is a maximum? Um, we had it in the, the previous department that we do 50% as a, a maximum. Okay. So let's say speeding first degree is like 500. Yep. If they're an absolute jackass to you, go 750. If they're actually quite pleasant, yeah, drop it down to 250. Why not? Oh, so you can do you could do more than the recommended. Um, yeah. I mean, oh, it's okay. Recommended. Yeah. All but right. Okay. Here's the thing: you are skirting a line, so all things within reason. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. Actually, have a valid reason as to f finding them more. Like, you are not here to be verbally abused or anything like that. Okay. okay? So feel free to find them more if they're dicks. If they're actually pleasant, feel free to drop. But you do still need to, you know, give them a citation. Okay. Okay. So you said I could do two fifty at, at the uh, the lower amount. Yeah, yeah. It okay. seems like a good. A good amount, you know. Okay, perfect. Good. Yep, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Um, good. So, would so we? Uh, that's your traffic stop done. Yep. Um, now it would. We would do a. Are we, are we just waiting to do the felony stop, Armitage? Yeah, oh, it would be good to do it as a group activity yep. because it's going to need backup. Perfect. Um, obviously, you can feel free to return back to um, the area over there and sort of just find a nice quiet spot to go over, like, you know, the differences, maybe, whilst yep. we wait. Uh, before we do that, could we do another uh, practice uh, traffic stop, just so I can utilize those skills I've learned? Yep, of course. Of course we can. Uh, should we go do that now? Should we head to the uh, felony stop area? Yeah. All right. Uh, let's just get together for a um, a felony stop as soon as everyone is ready, please.
Yeah, more dirty. How did your spare form? Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. A little bit of practice needed. Nothing too bad. Exactly. Okay, oh, dokey. How did we find traffic stops? Pretty good. Not as bad as I was thinking they were going to be. They're, They're pretty simple and straightforward, right? Yep. Yeah, good, good, good. Okay, uh, could I have all the FTOs with me? Cadets, can you stay put just for a second? Well, this is going to be fun. Yeah. How'd how yours go, Summer? Oh, yeah, back on. Oh, yeah, I was told it went textbook. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, right. Yeah, perfect. I forgot the radio call. Oh, you forgot. Oh. Yeah. I mean, we're all here to learn. That's why we're here, right? Yeah, exactly. So how do you want to play this? Use, uh... So, so it's a felony stop. It's pretty much a traffic stop, but we it's, we call a code five, and just give our location. Yeah, Everyone gonna, just huddles up, it's right? Gonna be, it's going to be a ask for additional, and then uh, mm -hmm. sorry, correct. We'll ask for a couple of individuals to. Uh, to assist as uh, the suspect is believed to be a... Well, they're, they're probably going to shove four of them in, in, a, in a car and we have to do all four. Wait, should we go add on one and add on two? <laughs> could do, could do. And then it's just, you know, like, uh, us. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm taking it that we're not going to be using our actual fucking firearms for Jesus. I was going to say, I think they're probably going to have us um, being multiple in our own vehicles anyway, so there'll be probably ah. one and then three responding, probably. We'll just see how this pans out. And we probably have to uh, fucking all of them out of the vehicles too. Like, yeah, that's the one cool too, right? right how do right. we, uh, how do we call a felony stop? Because it used to, uh, my uh, last apartment was a 10 just, code. It's just 1038 over the radio and then just saying, uh, let's play or something. Let's say that thing gets a ball up and it's registered for, you know, rest Requ and shit. Requesting additionals for a, uh, a code 5 felony stop. Yes. Oh, All right, that's how you word it. Okay. Yeah, because it used to, uh, in my last it was, uh, it was a, what you call it? It was a 10 code. So we had 30, 38 to the traffic stop, and then we had uh, 38 Bravo was a felony stop. Nah, yes, I, I've uh, heard that once or twice before. It's baddies with uh, which you skip it. Some people even have their own 10 code for it. Like, that, that's, like, it, like in 10 5 or something. Like, what the fuck? 10 5, bro, that's weird. Oh, 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 he has a code, he has a code. Play it cool, play it cool. Whistles nervous. Why are you whispering like we've done something wrong? <laughs> because this is going to be a bit of a, um, basically a show of sense and instinct. Um, so, go, yes. go, going into this, depending on the situation, should we be unloading our service pistols? Um, I would prefer it if you would stick purely to tasers. Right, okay. Um, right, so during this, you're going to have two runs of this, okay? You'll be yes, working together as a group. Um, I'm going to be looking for one of you to step up and take control. Don't tell me who it is, okay? Okay. Uh, I'm going to need you to direct your fellow officers through the process and um, tackle this felony stop how you feel it should be tackled without any guidance first. Okay, yes, ma'am. Afterwards, you're going to do a secondary run where your FTOs are going to guide you through it and show you the safe ways of doing things. Okay? Okay. 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 Yeah, please. As soon as are they're ready. To, uh, are we hmm? allowed to add them up? 
Like, are we allowed to drive as an as a quote unquote Adam up uh, head up car, or do you want us all to drive our own? Ideally, I would like you to drive alone. Alright. Okay. Yep. yep. Okay, no worries. Okay. Um, we'll just wait for them to be done with their little talk, and then um, we'll get to this. So, best of luck. You will not be judged too heavily on this. This is still training, okay? This mm -hmm. is just a matter of seeing what could go wrong if you do it wrong compared to safe practices. Okay, okay. yes, ma'am. Okay. But I also want to see who's got a good sense about them, a good uh, you know, instinct to them, and who may potentially have good leadership skills, okay? Okay. It's also your duty to catch each other out. If you feel, if any one of you feel like the other one is making a mistake, pull it out. Okay. Pull it out, give a suggestion, agree on something, and then execute it. The first run you can take as slow as you wish. The second run will be a proper um, guided Paced. attempt. Okay? Yes, okay. ma'am. Are we able to have a quick chat amongst ourselves to see uh, if it's the way we want to approach this? And, uh, Actually, yeah, gentlemen, so I'd like you to all head up there and run a lap while we prepare for you. Okay, yes, sir. In, in the car or physically? Physically. physically. I wouldn't sprint. He said run. Give us a... Well, I'll this is run. Run. This is... This is yeah. All right, so the definitely the stay the fuck behind your door because you know, uh, that's bad. A lap, a lap. Me, me. They never uh, said how the lap had to be. Oh, there's a car there. Um, I, I would like, to, I'd like to put my hand in the pit for leading. Does anyone else want to do it? Uh, we could. I would yeah. love that I as well. I want to take my hand right out the pit. All right. I'm sure we'll. Uh, we'll I'll get gladly stick my hand in deep. All right, let's uh, let's uh, do a roll for it. <laughs> Alright, stop, stop, stop then. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Okay, <sighs> death roll, death roll. Uh, tw okay, uh, 20, first 20. First a d20 to see who started, alright? First a d20 who started. Now just, just do a, just roll a one, one d20, whoever gets higher takes it. Yeah. Alright, roll it, roll it, roll it. Uh, oh, I'm gonna oh. play. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, oh, bloody hell. Well awesome. done, Peralta. <laughs> right, you can lead the second one. Right. right, okay, let's roll. Yeah, sure. Alright, so definitely recommend staying behind doors until everyone, you know, until we've got our oh, yeah. secured. Should we get our tasers out straight away, or...? Um, yes, 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 yes. As soon as yeah. you're out of the car with the door open, obviously don't uh, exit the door. Oh, 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 look, 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 look. Are you ready? Ten four, we are ready when you are, Bridge. Oh, they've dispersed. Okay, guys, uh, if you'd like to get into your cruisers, please, and make your way over to the other FTOs. Oh, this is going to be great. Got this, I believe in all of us. FGOs, if you can position yourself. Would you like us moving and brought to a stop? You know what? Yes, if I can have a singular cadet take, a, take charge now and give chase to the FTOs, please. 10 4. You'll be doing the initial uh, pullover. Hold on, give me just a second. I've in, I am having some issues. I believe in your primary unit. Uh, what is the like situation as well? What are we pulling them over from? Let's call it armed robbery. Is warrant out for who's the driver of the vehicle, please? There's a warrant out for Hart. He has known associates. Um, you need to get them done for a warrant uh, to do with armed robbery. So consider them armed and dangerous. Uh, the uh, passengers also going to be uh, charged with us. Are they accomplices? Oh shit! You don't know. Yes. Uh, has the yes, treat them like they're accomplices. Has the weapon been discharged during the armed robbery? Multiple times. 
Tempo. Okay. FTO is ready. Tempo. Uh, primary, are you ready? Tempo. Okay. Uh, three, two, one. Being active 1080 with a four door vehicle with at least three occupants. Uh. Remember, this ain't a pursuit training, this is uh, a felony stop. Tempo. Uh, vehicle has come to a stop. <coughs> Uh, suspect is identified as uh, a suspect with a warrant. I'm um, going to be an active 1038 code 5 additional is required. Uh, firearm has been waived. Uh, get cover behind engine blocks. Sir, get out of the vehicle with your hands in the air. Turn on. You just get into your car and turn off your uh, the siren, please. Oh, uh, it might be mine. I don't hear a siren. Is it off now? Ten four. Holy crap! Yeah. That shots fired. Shots fired at the uh, front vehicle uh, tire. Sir, get out of the vehicle with your hands up. Shots again. <clears throat> Get out of the vehicle. I'll just speak up with the radio. Uh, Get out of the vehicle. These suspects are not going to have a radio in their real life. All right. Okay. Get out of the vehicle. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Do not point that weapon. Turn around. Turn around. Walk towards my voice. Walk towards my voice. All right. Don't move. Do not move. Go and hand someone the first suspect. Give me coverage. Do not move. Ah, fuck you, <laughs> Sir. Fuck you. Sir. Stop. Stop approaching me. Stop approaching me. If we can have at least a little Why are my handcuffs not working? Come on now. Oh, we are. Okay, my handcuffs are not working. Go. Hold on. That's annoying. This would be a great time to ask somebody else to help you. Oh, Sir, stop resisting! Oh! My knees on the floor. Go for... Don't think that we're going to be keeping the vehicle coming. Oh, what the fuck you need in the neck? You son of a bitch. You're, you're, you're going. Alright, Sam, putting you in the vehicle. Uh, Plug in the vehicle. Bruh, I don't fucking. Whoever's taking control of this situation, whoever the primary is or whatever, can you please uh, radio in your, the steps you are taking as a group, please? Okay, 10 4. Um, so we're gonna be. What, like, as if I'm talking to the other officers or explain it to you? Explaining it to us so that we who are standing out of the way yeah. can hear it. Oh fuck. Ten four. Um okay, so we've secured suspects in the car, so we're gonna wait until all of the officers are ready and then we're gonna approach the suspect vehicle. Oh I, uh, I Officer with the pink hair. Yeah. Who's yeah. your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> I uh can't see him get you in the vehicle. Okay, I'm going to come back to this, but for some reason... Alright, are we ready to approach the vehicle? Okay, um... Okay, turn four. Sir, get out of the vehicle! Okay, uh, officers uh, on the left side is that... David 29 and David 30 are going to provide myself and Summers 
uh, leave full coverage while we approach the vehicle. Alright, Summers, come from this side, from the right. Are you with me? Uh, Sir, get out of the vehicle. You're going out to kill me. Do it! Sir, please. Sir, put the weapon down. Put the do weapon it. down. Please, sir. Why? Do put your it. hands up. We've we've already. We've, no, no, no. We've got your friends in custody, sir. Kill me. Sir, please don't. Okay, hands up. Watch crossfire. Right, do not move. Go on, cuffs. Do not move. Oh, where's the other one? <laughs> I didn't shoot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, why did you tase sir, me? Why? I did not tase you, sir. We're gonna have an officer down. There's an officer down. Fuck. I did not see the other one in the car. Which one? There's two of us. <laughs> Do what I did. I'm bored. I'm gonna cough the over. Suspect. Stay down, do not get up. <laughs> Fucking crawling. Why are you on the floor? During one nap. Oh no. He's behind the pillar in front of both sides. That went well. I'm moving around. I recommend <laughs> we get to our own cover because we got nothing. You're just bound to get pierced over there. Okay, I'm retreating. On top of that, we've got three suspects and two upper suspects. Yep. Let's get them in vehicles. So many suspects. He's coming up close, he's behind this pillar. Stand where you are. Walk slowly backwards towards my voice. Do not move. Wait, wait. That's slowly that's walk backwards towards me. There. Slowly walk backwards to my voice. No compliant, go for this. We won. Okay, so we're gonna consider that scene concluded. What have we learned? Clear yeah, vehicles. Please get the officers out of your cruiser real quick as well, please. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> I uh, I couldn't get you in the inside of my vehicle for some reason. Yeah, so if somebody could just escort me out. Yeah. And taking me out of the vehicle. There we go. I couldn't put you in it before, it was weird. Hmm, strange. <laughs> I've just soft cuffed you. Hold on. Is Marsh still in the car? There we go. He is, yes. 
Hello. Let's get you out. Uh, no problem. I... I seem to be struggling to get people in and out of the cars. Um, human interaction? Yeah, that's... I'm, I'm looking at my... Uh, Oh, I see. Okay, I was yeah, I was looking at the wrong thing. You got it. Yeah. Uh, it's really... yeah ah, okay. That's yeah. That's a little uh, a little less confusing now. Right. I understand how that works. Thank you. Marsh, if you can stand with the other FTOs, cadet. If you can stand with the other cadets. FDOs, can you please give your feedback, please? I think probably the biggest thing I noticed as well is some of you left your cover quite easily and left yourself exposed. There's no need for you to be approaching the suspects. Not yet, at least. You need to take control of the situation. Be close enough so that they can hear you because we barely couldn't. Order them out one by one. The minute I stepped out of the vehicle, at a minimum, one of you should have been covering the officer who went for cuffs on me because at any second, as you saw, your criminal can just turn around and start swinging at your glass. Two of you cut. In a situation like this with four of you, two of you cover the vehicle, one of you covers the officer going for cuffs, and please do not step out from behind your vehicles. It leads to the kind of chaos we've just seen. Yeah, the, the, the behind the vehicles is your safe ground. Yes, there may be one suspect out of the car, but you still have three suspects inside that car. You do not know what they have. You do not know whether they're going to shoot back, whether all three are going to jump out the vehicle. When it comes to one person getting out the car, send one officer to arrest and when it is safe to do so with the other three protecting cover. Because if you don't do that, you saw what just happened. You lose that high ground then. Um, don't even send one officer to arrest. Have them come all the way to the door of your vehicle that you are taking cover behind. Okay. Okay. Right. We're going to do this in stages, FTOs. Can I get an FTO to volunteer to correct their placement and explain the reasoning behind the placement of the vehicles, please? I'll do it. Atlas, you're up first. Go, go help them out. Direct them. Okay. So everybody just go to your corresponding vehicle. I'm going to want um, another one to take them through. I did notice we were a little bit all over the place. Or ordering. Too fast, pretty average, no? I could have had one to my whatever over here. All right, David 30, if you want to get out your vehicle. If you want to turn your vehicle slightly more to the left. There you go, and then jump out there. Same thing again, just take cover behind the vehicle. Just make sure you got full options, see where you can go. So David 36, if you want to point your vehicle slightly more towards the vehicle. Now, when you get out, you're going to want to stay behind the door. So as soon as you get out, you want to be aiming down your taser. Uh, okay. Perfect. So you're, you're going to use that door as cover. That is your livelihood from now on. Yes, sir. Again, as soon as you come out, you'll be one. Yep. So both David 36 and David 37, you are both going to be the anchors for this vehicle. 
you're both going to be providing the cover. The other two cadets are going to be the ones either giving the orders or taking the suspect. This should all be discussed before you start acting upon the vehicle. You will obviously take your positions like this, but once you start acting on the vehicle, you will have one person giving the orders. Is that okay? Yes, sir. That looks cool. Yes. Yeah, if you could just take sidebar with the other, other FTOs and get opinions, please. Yep. Alright, hang tight for a second, guys. Yep. I got, I got mad confused by the, uh, the... Li I'm gonna get leading then. <laughs> uh, can we, can, can, can we just, uh, just remember, just to make them happy, if you're gonna discharge a taser, don't forget, just let all other officers know, and to let the suspect know, just, just declare, taser, taser, and, and then, then okay. tase them. Just yeah, yeah. in case oh, an officer's moving yeah. in for the cough, they might, they, they, they might want to step back in case Breeze catches a problem or some shit. I got a little yeah. bit confused of who had lethal and less lethal, because... Uh, we were supposed to be treating um, tasers just as lethal. Just assume it's all lethal. Yeah. Because that's what would happen during a real no yeah. court fight. Yeah, and we need to make sure that we're staying behind cover and that we get them all the way to our cars before cuffing them. Yeah. We need to just keep on threatening them. That we to be fair, that, that was the bit that we did well when we actually made the arrest. Yeah. We had them come all the way to us um, and we had good coverage. Well, he was still halfway there. Yeah, I think we kind of just yeah. unraveled as the situation kept on going, you know? Yeah, when I went so round the, uh, uh, the front of the vehicle and one, there was another one in, I didn't properly clear it, that was L. Obviously, yeah. um, I, I'd say we're going to want to get them to either tip towards D30's car for the pure reason that then uh, you, Phil, you're going to be able to obviously provide cover for the cough without causing crossfire, and uh, myself and Peralta, we're able to still keep uh, visual on both sides of the vehicle. Okay, so he'll be coming towards my car. Okay, for David 36, uh, David 37, yes, backing your vehicles. Okay, so you'll... And then David 29, David 30, take cover behind your vehicles again, please. Alright, and then David 36, if you want to go to your left so you can see the right... Uh, to your right, sorry, so you can see the right side of the vehicle. It's same angle. Say, uh, yeah, same angle, but just make sure you're safe. Bit more of an angle, you're gonna okay. need more. Do I know what the engine block in front of me, sir? What we'll do, we'll just start it off from scratch. Um, so first on scene will be, uh, we go day 37, so we go Summers. Summers is first to respond. Um, so Summers, obviously you'll act like a normal traffic patrol. Uh, so if you can, and uh, move your vehicle to uh, where it would be on a normal traffic stop, please. Okay, uh, am I able to have a, a word with the other officers just as a plan of action, or are we all going with our gut instincts of what we feel here? Uh, if you could just move your vehicle for now, okay. Or, okay. as if this is a normal traffic stop. I'll get mine out of the way. Alrighty, uh, David 29, David 30, uh, if you can move your vehicle slightly closer, however, if you can keep the same positions and formation, that would be perfect. And then, I can't remember, what's your call sign again, sorry? Uh, 36 bus. 36. If you could move your vehicle on similar position, but just on the right side. Uh, of 37. Uh, yeah, right side of 37, please.
make sure each officer's got enough room. Uh, David 36, you don't have to stand behind the door, you can move behind your vehicle as well. Oh, okay, top off. I mean, everybody does have cover. That's the, that's the plus. We should be, out, be behind the engine blocks, probably better. Okay, whoever's on primary, call out how you would proceed. Uh, hold up, hold up. Okay, we're doing this guided attempt now. We're going to make sure everything is perfect before we move on to the next stage. Okay. D36, your car is an inadequate place. D-37, yours is also at an adequate place. D-29, can you back yours up, facing the rear of the car in front? Pointing inward. Face inward. Yeah, that confused the fuck out of me. Okay, now typically when you're doing a felony stop, um, it would probably be about three units that will be involved in this. Uh, we do, however, have a fourth additional unit. Now, we don't necessarily need the unit to be part of this formation, but we can certainly try. Um, Okay, David 30, can you position yourself in a way that you think would be adequate based on what you're seeing the other three cruisers uh, being positioned? When you're ready and you think you got it right, step out of your car. Beautiful, thank you very much. Okay. Who wants, uh, who wants it, who wants to take, um, FTOing the commands? Yeah, I would do that. Okay. All right. Which one of you is primary? That would be you, Summers. Congratulations. Next, we're going to be ordering the suspects out of the vehicle. Understood? Understood, and uh, presumably we're going to be starting with the driver of the vehicle to... Yes, listen, we're going to run you through it right here. The They're going to figure it out. All good. So, um, always make sure that you can use your um, fellow officers in case you're in a bad place that no one can back up into. But I'll begin with driver of the vehicle. Place your hands in the air and step out of the vehicle facing away from me. Just forgetting okay. one critical step, Makari. So what is that step? Throw the keys out of the window. Oh, that's a good one. 
as he heard, ordered them to throw the keys out of the vehicle. Then, place their hands in the air, step out, and face away. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go. Driver of the vehicle, throw the keys out of the window, raise your hands, and slowly and carefully step out of the vehicle, keeping your back to me at all times. Let's uh, make it a little bit interesting. Tell your officer here to your left to instruct him, uh, instruct the driver, approach his boys. So tell your fellow officer to your left, order this man to walk backwards towards his boys. Also a voice, please. Okay, uh, what, what was his and, officer's call sign again? Uh, doesn't matter, just say officer to my left, you can say that. Okay. Officer to my left, if you if you could put if you could uh, instruct this gentleman to walk backwards slowly towards the sound of your voice, please. And then you're gonna cover him. Driver, so. facing away, slowly back up towards my voice. Do not face me. Uh, look through your eyes, Marsh. Slowly. Left to keep cover of the suspect as he goes in for cuffs, whilst uh, me and Peralta uh, maintain visual on the vehicle. Come on. Go for cover. All right. Where's the vehicle in my vehicle? The suspect in my vehicle. Will be where to put a vehicle in the vehicle. Uh, before placing him in the vehicle, you might want to give him a quick search, but yeah, that's okay. Now, instruct the next person. You can say, if you can see there's someone, you can order them directly. For example, passenger side, step out of the vehicle and then tell your officer to the right to do the same thing that the other one did. Okay. Can the passenger of the vehicle in the front passenger seat please put your hands in the air? And slowly and carefully exit the vehicle. Uh, Peralta, could you please get this man to come to the sound of your voice? Turn uh, four. Slowly. Sir, continue walking backwards. Do not turn Green around. Cover. Come to my Green voice. Cover. Oh. To your... Right, stop, stop, stop. Do not move. Bump cuffs. Same thing for you, you can do a little bit of a pat down before placing him in there. Time is on your side. Turn four. Uh. Uh, units on scene, I have no visual uh, at the count of any other individuals. Sorry, I, I do apologize. Negative. Okay. There may be another passenger in the back of that seat. I suspect secure right. my vehicle. Get back to your positions and now order make yourself known any passenger make themselves known okay any further passengers of the vehicle please make yourself known to us now please put your hands in the air and step out of the vehicle and one at a time one at a time starting from rear left please exit the vehicle slowly and carefully and if there is no response, we move on to next one. Okay, oh. cadet, stay in your position, please. FTO. Uh, can I get FTOs with me, please? Let me get you out of here. Uh, At your leisure, Peralta. Once you have uncuffed and freed the FTOs, can the cadet stay in position, please, as we have a discussion over here.
obviously, personally, if there was three units on scene, I'd consider having that fourth vehicle be engaged uh, a traffic stop, a traffic block on the rear, just in case anybody tries and locals. Yeah, I might suggest that when they come back over. Mike 1 to Mike 6, what's 20? Detective O'Brien, general patrol on TAC 1. Don't believe Mike 6 is with us. March. We'll just wait for this radio traffic ah. to clear again. Yeah. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lads. Starting from the bottom. Council voices, please, for the crowd to hear. <laughs> I can't, I can't not, lads. It's an addiction. But this one's an actual, like, RP, so oh, not a fucking cops and robbers one, we so. Have removed two suspects from the vehicle. We've had no response following further requests for any occupant to leave the vehicle. At this time, we will sweep the vehicle. Summers, you are primary, correct? Uh, correct, yes, primary unit. Uh, correct, Wonderful. yes, sir. Ask. How do you think we would proceed here, Summers? You have four units at your disposal. Hello, FDOs, bro. With an unknown, possibly non zero number of occupants still in there. Um, so, what I would most. Oh, let me have a assess the situation here. So, I've got to be careful. So, uh, numbering units left to right, one to four, I would most probably have. Units two and sorry, unit units one and three. So myself and the unit to the furthest down left maintain. Oh, sorry, no. My, sorry, let me recap this. So units one and four, so the outer units, I would have maintain visual on both the drivers and Anyone. the passenger side of the vehicle, just in case anyone was to attempt to get out. Um, so the clearest visual. There's a couple the people from Paradise. Vehicle. I uh, then have might not know them though. The units to my left here, like Ron, left. Ron's in this server. Have, um, uh, most probably loop around to the back of their vehicle to get. Uh, Leo Maka, um, and Nicole. I can't remember her RP name. We would approach the vehicle. But uh, it's a good, good group. But what I've seen so far, I'm enjoying it. Mind, all units bearing in mind crossfire and such. Ten out of ten for effort. Summers. Two out of ten for execution. <laughs> What I would recommend here is you have Peralta with a clear visual of the right-hand side of the vehicle. He will remain your anchor. Uh, yeah, it's pretty popular. Summers Consider it's only been up a year. And Flume will step forward a short distance. It's like a, it's a proper, like, RP server. Like, um, we typically aim for legs on suspects just to, like, further the RP. Um, I think we're at 40 when I connected. Once we have swept the vehicle a full 180 degrees from this side and verified no further occupants, then... As yeah, that's not bad then, at all. ...you will move in. Peralta will remain as our anchor. We'll resume instruction once this has been completed. From the top, please, Summers. Direct your team. Okay, so both units direct to my left on my call, and when we're all ready, we're going to do a full 180 degree sweep from of the left side of the vehicle to the front to confirm there are no further occupants in the vehicle. Just let me know when you're all ready. 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 
Okay, on my count, we will move slowly and round to the left. Keep your guns trained on the vehicle at all times. Three. Freeze. What's Peralta doing? Have you given Peralta an order? Oh, sorry. Continue. Peralta, if, if you are going to be our acting anchor here, if you could please keep yourself trained on the right-hand side of the vehicle and inform of us any movement you see from your location, please. Yep, so far. Okay, so as long as all units are ready, on my count, we will move around and sweep the vehicle. That phase we're off, man. Just make sure you maintain a safe distance and uh, keep trained on windows in the vehicle at all times. Okay, so everybody ready? Yeah. Okay. On three. One, two, three, and move. Hold it there, please, gentlemen. So, we've confirmed by a full sweep, no occupants of the vehicle. I'll stop picking on Summers. McCrevis, what do you think our next steps are? Carefully approach the vehicle and inspect it. Now provide an evidence sweep. Make sure it's all clear. 10-4, how many officers are approaching the vehicle? One. One or two, acceptable, with the rest remaining in an overwatch position in case of any nasty surprises. I would recommend McCrevis with a full view of the front of the vehicle, and Peralta with a view of the rear, remain in overwatch. Summers and Flute move in. McCrevis, you are now primary. Direct the scene, please. Peralta, keep eyes on that vehicle, and I'll keep eyes as well. Ten four. Bloom, carefully approach the right hand side of the vehicle as Summers is approaching the left hand side of the vehicle ever so slowly and carefully. If you hear any ticking noises, run as far and as fast as you can. Approach on my go. Three, two, one, go. I wonder if someone's in the boot. That'd be quite interesting. Don't hear any noises. Continue directing the crevice. Summers, carefully inspect the trunk of the vehicle. Bloom, could you cover Summers, please? If that trunk swings open, freeze it there. Bloom remains where he is with a full visual of the interior. You have a in, you have an officer in a much better position to provide this cover of the trunk. Okay, Peralta, you keep an eye on the trunk. If anything Ten moves four. out of that trunk, seize it. We don't have tasers. We have lethals, so bruh. When you are ready, let us know when you pop the trunk. Three, two, one. You'll have to hop in the driver's seat to pop the back. Ah, sorry. Back is clear. Bleach. Wonderful. What else are we searching here? Will we? We're going to be inspecting the vehicle for signs of uh, malfunctions, uh, any signs of lock pickaroo. So we are going to conduct an evidence sweep. Carry on. Bloom, conduct the evidence sweep ever so carefully. How the fuck do you do that? Conduct an evidence sweep. 10 4.
had to locate him, but I don't have any uh, evidence bag. We'll take that as read. What else do we need to search? One final thing we're missing here. I... Does this go for any of us? Glove box, maybe? Yep, some of yep. Fantastic. Cool. There's the answer I was looking for. If you could get in the vehicle and check the glove box, please. Make that um, on the way. Glove box is clear. At rush, you told me the glove box was clear. And four. Wonderful. That concludes the sweep and search of the vehicle. Hey, um, Makari, you're up for scene wrap up, please, if you can talk them through the final mm -hmm. stages. Wait, Atlas. Looks like the semi did pointers with this group. Ah, uh, two things. Uh, when checking the drunk, Instruct your fellow officers so that you have lethal and non-lethal. Um, when doing the wrap around around the vehicle, the first one should be saying and sharing what they're seeing, if there is anything, you know. Uh, front window clear, passenger seat clear. Just uh, giving information about what they're seeing as they're going first around the vehicle. If cadets want to meet at the vehicle, please. Okay, so <laughs> legit, but it's it's good up, up, isn't it? The suspects have been taken out of the vehicle and are currently in the back of your uh, patrol cars. The vehicle has been searched and the area has been cordoned off. Um, from here on, any evidence that you've taken from the car or from the suspects will be on your person. So from here on out, you are here to clear the rest of the scene. Um, from there on in, you will want to um, make sure that all evidence <laughs> has been taken off the vehicle. Legit. Um, once that has been done, you will... has been secured, you will want to impound the vehicle. Um, this will send the vehicle to the space impound where the suspects can uh, get the vehicle from when they have left prison. Uh, to do that, you'll want to think of a forward slash impound, or you can go You alright? I needed that cruiser, cadet. Oh. Yeah. Shouldn't shouldn't have done that right now. <laughs> I thought it came up. Came up with a menu. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! It came up with a menu. Yeah, you do that. I thought it came <laughs> up with a menu. Or anything have been put oh down no. In the meantime, please pick them up. Um, the main thing to do, however. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Or oh, no. Please, please, search the scenario for bullet casings, um, any form of DNA or any form of evidence that you can pick up that will contribute to this case. Uh, this can be done through your flashlight, which you all should have on your persons at the moment. Um, or once you hit PO2, you will get access to a camera, which will... Um, also show you the same thing where you can take photographic So, evidence. did you guys take the gun out of the glove box before impounding it? There, was the, there, wasn't, there wasn't one. one. Oh, curious. Oh, okay. Um, so, if you all have a look around for your, with your flashlights around the scene, you may, may see some evidence. 
I will definitely find a load of shite. So, so yeah, I mean, if you take a picture, um, it should say um, if any of them do have it, serial numbers, casings, that that sort of thing. This that will all correlate to this. It also helps correlate to possible other crimes that may be committed with the same weapon, um, which the detectives can also look into. Um, once that is done and you've collected all the casings and evidence that you have needed to collect, that goes for DNA as well. Um, what you want to do is you'll think about forward slash clear evidence. And what that'll do is you'll just end up cleaning up all the casings and stuff that was just not left out. If somebody wants to do the, uh, so if somebody wants to clear the evidence, it didn't appear to work. I've done it twice. Do you have evidence bags on your person, sir? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, I've got ten on me. No, oh, no, that didn't fucking do it. The hell? Maybe because they're tasers. Can I try discharge a pistol over here? Is it? Tempo. Uh, yeah, usually, usually that would clear all um, evidence on the scene. Um, but I would recommend doing the evidence side of things first before in, uh, doing anything else. Um, evidence is more important than impounding a vehicle or, or opening the tempo. scene back up. Um, do take your time with it. There is no rush to get to move on. Um, as I said before, the more evidence that we can get for a scene, the better. Um, as I said, that goes for bullet casings, shells from a shotgun, DNA, vehicle fragments, um, anything that you think may be ha helpful or is on scene, put into an evidence bag, file into evidence under the incident report uh, that it corresponds to. Um, once that's done, um, obviously, as you right, did before, you be, found the vehicle, the stream on if my the scene phone, has so been off, in. then you can unport uh, bollards and uh, barricades from the scene and then open up the scene again and then move on back to MRPD where evidence should be moved into the correct um, area, whether it be incident or report, um, and then correspond back with um, other officers to discuss um, charges or what has been seen. If you do have any information that you want to add to the incident report um, or the report itself, um, feel free to uh, do so, or inform the officer that is writing the report at the time. Tenfold. I think, I think that's everything. Has, uh, has anybody got any questions? Nope. Thomas? No. Um, so, obviously, as you can see, we've got four vehicles here, and it was past comments that we'd potentially only use three for a felony stop. If a fourth unit was to arrive, would they primarily take position maybe as a uh, for traffic guidance on the rear? Because obviously I know locals can get a bit crazy sometimes. So, so I, personally the way I prefer it is you have your felony stop and then the fourth vehicle is to usually hang around in the local area instead of ah. having it straight on top of the scene. Um, if another call comes in, the fourth vehicle can go and attend to that. However, if the felony vehicle does um, proceed to... Outside voices, gentlemen, please all use the radio. Um, the fourth vehicle, um, if a penalty stop is meant, the fourth vehicle will stay in the local vicinity. If another call comes in, they can attend to that. However, if the suspect vehicle flees from the penalty stop, then that fourth vehicle can be one of the first cars to respond to it fleeing. Um, meaning that the other officers, once they get back into the vehicle um, and are able to uh, give chase, aren't lacking behind or have lost uh, sight of more of a backup uh, than anything else. Uh, but again, um, speaking over radio, you announce what you're doing um, and whether any additionals are needed. So you will have additionals on scene anyway. Any more questions? 
I get this? Okay, can we have Cadet just stay put for a second? Atlas, can you come back here and get some feedback, please? How do you guys think that went? Uh, I run rather not well. Yeah, I think. I think it's just something which we're gonna get better at doing over time, you know? Yeah, I was about to say, it, it definitely takes fucking time for all of us to sink in. Yeah. And that will just be experience, will get us much better than what we did right. today. Which... Yeah. Honestly, I, I, I wanna say it went, it went about as right as it could go, right? Yeah. Like, you know, there's always room for improvement. Yeah. I wanna mean, be honest. My yeah. my own walking is horrifying. Do you, you, you see how often I was crawling on the floor? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. We, obviously they were going to throw us into the deep end, see how we uh, already reacted. And yeah. We gave it our best shot and then they helped us through it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. Good work so far, guys. You're going to do one final run with everything you've learned. We're going to see what you've retained. Um, this should be a reasonably quick process now that you know what you're doing. Okay. Um, You'll be detaining each of the officers getting into the car, as you can see behind me. Um, who? Four individuals, would, right? Yeah. Who would like to take lead? Uh, do you want to give it another go for Alter, or? Uh, yeah, no. Nope. No, yeah, we we agreed on uh, him doing it second go round. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So you're carrying okay. the initial stop then. All right. Don't need to worry about the initial stops, but if you could please move your cruisers and position yourself. Primary taking the traffic stop position, please. Everyone else, yeah. work around that. Ah, uh, no. no, hold on. Get them back. We're doing secrets. We're doing secrets. Okay, anyway, whilst they're discussing, I'll continue to brief the cadet. So, you're gonna need to start with a traffic stop. You're gonna run the plates, you're gonna do all that good malarkey. Once you have done that and you've come up with a warrant, then you're going to need to call in your backup and you'll go from there, okay? Done for. Okay, good. Backup. Remember who your primary is. Follow their lead. Don't do anything stupid to endanger your lives or theirs. Um, FTOs, can you forget for Gover Chase and just position yourself um, anywhere ready and um, we'll uh, get going. Where you want to go, bro? Uh, don't really matter to be honest. I guess we'll just respond as is. Let's uh, move over this side. Yeah. Additional, get ready. Yep. Two twenty nine, active defensive. Fifty one, please. Someone run the plate. Fox rod two four for me. And this 738 is going to be code 5 felony stop. Could I get some additionals, please? Safe, Should all be calling your call signs and saying that you're en route. Uh, uh, on route. D36 is uh, 20.
Driver of the vehicle. Take the keys out of your ignition and throw them outside. Raise your hands and carefully step out of the vehicle with the back facing towards us. Peralta, make, Peralta, make sure that this guy goes to you. Yep, turn four. Alright, sir, follow the sound of my voice. Do not turn around at any given time. Thomas, keep an eye on that vehicle as well as you can. Right, walk towards me now, slowly. Slowly. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, you stop when I tell you. Okay, stop. Do not move. Going for cuffs. Step up, brother. Stuff that uh, suspect in your vehicle will search him later at the station. Turn four. Suspect is in my vehicle. Passenger next to the driver. Hands where we can see them. And then carefully step out of the vehicle. Fitting your back towards us. There's nobody sat there. Passenger behind the passenger seat. Back right, passenger. Hands in the air where we can see them. Step out of the vehicle with your backs facing towards us. Hands in the air. Gun, gun, gun. Thomas. Thomas, when you got it, he's coming towards you. Uh, so he's got a weapon in his hand. So put the weapon away. Hands in the air. Thomas, he's your. Okay, sir, please slowly and carefully walk back towards the sound of my voice. Keep your back turned to me at all times, please. Lunar Parole to keep eye on the vehicle. Turn four. Slowly and carefully, Turn work four. your way backwards towards my vehicle till I tell you to stop. Take two steps to the left for me. One step back and stop right there for me, please, sir. Somebody keep me covered, going in for cuff. Cool. Alright, stop him in your, detained. Stop him in your uh, vehicle. He'll be searched at the station. Can I get a uh, unit round just to cover this passenger side of the vehicle, please? Just in Moment. case there is someone in the front. Go for it. Alright, sir, just gonna bring him around the back to search him. Don't search him, just stop him in the car, we'll search him at the station. 10 4. In direction. <laughs> Anyone else in the car, make yourselves known. No. You got a passenger in the back of the left passenger side of the vehicle, refusing to get out. Sir, in the back left passenger seat, raise your hands and come out of the vehicle. So this one is yours. All right, sir, walk towards the sound of my voice. Negative. Slowly. Three do not do face what. Oh, disregard. Just to interrupt just for a Please. second. It's always good practice to make sure you uh, separate the individual. So try and get officers who have spare seats to, um, you know, an empty car to take the next in individual so that they don't plot and plan whilst you're transporting. Tempot. Don't be afraid to take one yourself as primary. Blink, could you take this one? Ten four. Step towards the sound of For my voice. Do not turn around and keep your hands up. Keep coming. I'll tell you when to stop. Keep coming back. So I'm going to provide coverage on the the detainment. Can you keep eyes on the vehicle? Cover. I'm going to stop. Ten. 
I'm covering. The uh, the function one on your belt. Anyone else in the vehicle, make yourselves known. I'm not getting anything from the vehicle. Summers, keep an eye on the passenger side. If you see any movement, call it out to us. And keep yourself in cover. Peralta, fluent on my left. We're going to slowly make a 180 around to check out the front of the vehicle and see if there are any more people inside. Tell me when you guys are ready. We're ready when you are. On my go, we'll go. One, two, three, go. Driver side clip. Keep moving, you guys are doing good. Myself will approach the no. Peralta and Flynn, could you guys carefully approach the vehicle and uh, begin a quick inspection and see if you can find anything inside? Turn four, approaching. I mean, suspects inside, do not go inside the vehicle itself. If you hear Turn ticking, four. get the fuck away from Can I hear any ticking? Can't see anything. Oh, conducting a sweep. Suspect in the boot, suspect in the boot. Turn four. Get out. Keep an eye on the boot. Show me your hands. Blink, keep an eye on the boot as well. Show me your hands. Show me hands. Go. Run with cuffs. Good work. Good work. Maintaining visual on the vehicle. 195. Yeah, I need to. Uh, put that one. Uh, put that suspect in my vehicle. Don't pop. <coughs> Uh, go. can see you with the passenger side. Check the glove box for me, please, and thank you. Yep. Evidence sweep. Oh, it's not a surprise. Did you already do an evidence sweep? Yeah, already. There is a pistol in the glove box. And for the trunk is empty. The glove box and uh, slide it into an evidence bag in your hands. Uh, what do you want me to do if I don't have an evidence bag? Hand it to one of the officers who has an evidence bag. Please I can also come and give you one. Put it in an evidence bag. Okay, I'm not going to put it in an evidence bag. I'm going to hand it to you, Pearl. Okay, turn four. Perfect. Alright, I'll put it in an evidence bag. Mm -hmm. Can you inspect the vehicle and check for any markings of uh, trying to lock the kit? Don't or hot actually do it. Yeah, yeah. For all this, you could start going for an evidence sweep with your flashlight. Yeah, I found so blood. Much, uh, we're good to uh, look around. Are we ready to impound the vehicle? Negative. Uh, let's have a quick look around for uh, evidence and everything. Did someone check Rem the boot? Yeah. Remember to uh, 
to, if you're backing up a situation and you're helping with the evidence sweep, make sure that you are clearing with the scene commander, which will be the primary, before um, making any decisions such as impounding, because they may not have everything collated yet. Tempo. Yeah, tempo. Got a couple of cases here. Got some blood. Hit you some blood. Alright, we stop blood and casings. Uh, let's collect a couple. See what they come back to. But before you guys collect them, I'm gonna quickly take a picture, alright? 10 4. 10 4. Images uploaded uh, to the uh, correct corresponding place. Um, who has evidence back to doesn't? I do. For all, why don't you pick up the blood that you found? So far. Alright. You look at him with a flashlight, and I want you to pick up this particular casing here. I'm pretty sure that who who discharged this one? Uh, I think that one would have been the suspect. I was stood. You pick up that casing. Do you happen to have an evidence back? No. Me. Casing. Or did you want evidence to? Go, sir. All right. Well, I don't want to fight you. I want you to pick up the one that. I want you to pick up this one. When you're looking with your flashlight, you'll see that there's a little place that you can use to pick it up. Yeah, pick Flex it up. Flex that muscle, and you picked it up. Right. When you're looking with a flashlight, you've got to look for the flashlight. Do you want me to give it to you or keep it on me? I pass it on to me, please. Do we get the blood from you? Uh, yes, sir. If you've uh, given me the evidence, uh, make sure to get into your cruiser and get the uh, suspect to uh, MRPD. I'll call Jerry for the uh, impound of the vehicle. Please don't impound my vehicle again. Yeah, yeah don't worry. I'm not actually uh, sure how Thank to you. give it to you. So, once All you right. are done, there's one very important important call you should make. What is it, guys? All together now. Code 4. Situation is code 4. There we go, hey. Very Thanks good, very Lovely Bye. stuff. Right. You don't know how to give stuff? No. Right, so for the amount up, of please. things that you got, um, make sure it's one. Oh, and it's you just... Oh, I see. Drag and drop, and you... Oh, one thing I do want to uh, mention, myself, I'll I don't know if you guys person. noticed mm -hmm. how far back I popped out when I got out of the trunk. Just uh, something to keep in mind if you are very close to the trunk in the future. They might be Temple. able to, you know, launch over your shoulders. Babe. Who's got my pistol? I've got your black. Come here. Also, remember Thank you. how I had you go through the vehicle sweep and how it ended with an officer at the direct front and an officer at the direct rear. There was a lot of muzzle sweeping going on there, gentlemen. You that way for any purpose. Okay, good. I was actually about to ask for some feedback. Um, any other Anyone feedback, else? guys? Wait, I don't know. have a pistol in their possession that doesn't belong to them. Uh, yeah, one additional thing. Before you remove anything from the trunk or the glove box, uh, take a picture, document it. Okay. Yes, sir. I understand. Okay, cool. Ultimately, you will be probably forgetting steps constantly throughout your entire career. 
it's just best to remain vigilant and try and avoid it where possible. But it does happen. Yes, don't feel too bad, but it does happen, okay? Yeah, every now and then someone uh, forgets their equipment in a car trunk and then they give that car to someone else. <clears throat> or okay. gets to lock a cell door properly, or leans against the bars with their weapons in easy reach. Anyway, moving on. Thank you very much, Hart. Um, if we could just gather around uh, Frank 25, is that? The Durango, please. 24. Is it 24? All right, fair enough. So the next module we'll be doing is pit training. Can someone tell me what a pit is, please? Yep, go for it. Uh, it's a maneuver where you use your own vehicle to push into the tire of the uh, pers of the vehicle that you're pursuing. Uh, it will be the back left or the back right tire. Preferably back left. Beautiful. Can I have an FTO? Put the hands up and be all like, yo dogs, I'm going to teach you about the ins and outs of pit training, please. All right. Oh, you want to take it hard? Uh, you spoke up before I raised my hand. All ears, my All right. Go for it. So, pit training. Pitting is a useful maneuver. The idea is to flip the wheel around and potentially kill the engine. However, there are rules and regulations for the safety of public as well as everyone on scene. A couple of things need to be done checked before you try to attempt a pit. Anyone got any ideas what we should check before? Uh, let's start from the left, okay? We're all the first. Um, check that there are no civilians that could be uh, okay, good. victims. Of Summer's next. Accident. Make sure that the, uh, the vehicle you attempt to pit is at a safe enough speed to do so. Proper, and I don't remember your name, sorry. Phil McRavis. McRavis, right. Making sure that you're not within city limits, as usually within city limits, there's too much to okay. risk a bit for. Can we get a fourth one? No, I don't have anything for it. All right. So, yeah. Um, oh, <laughs> Peralta. Uh, make sure you get permission from command before attempting. Very good. So, speed has to be low enough so that it's safe. Um, I think the highest I was told was 100, but a little bit lower would be better. I think 90, 100. Uh, at rates faster than 100, it's uh, dangerous because you might actually get flung out of the vehicle. Uh, weather condition, important. When it's raining or snowing, it's slippery. That makes for chaos. Road conditions, how much traffic there is, are there any civilians, and of course we don't do it within city limits. If everything else is fine, the ones that I just mentioned, then you request for a permission. After the permission is granted, and well, you request the permission by stating the above mentioned facts. Once the permission is granted, you wait for a opportune moment and you say going for a pit. Once you do so, you attempt to hit the this this thing called ram bar or whatever you want to call it to the back front of the tire. I'm sorry, the back front of the tire. The front of the back tire, okay. or in the approximate area. And my wise man once told me if anyone here attempts to do a pit without a ramp bar, it's gonna be an issue. So make sure your vehicle has Rest in peace, mate. This is why detectives should not be carrying out primary roles in Namaste. the streets. All right. 
who wants to bid me. Love that. You should all be raising your hands right about this. Come on, it's fun. It's the fun part. All right. Maybe we should <laughs> continue. Yep. Yep. Um, right, for this, can we please have the uh, cadets and a supervisor go with them in the Durango? And can we have the the suspect be in a caprice or a crown vic, please? Reason being, limited space, and they're going to need to catch up pretty damn quickly. Come on now. Why don't you step up? Who wants to be first? We're all done. Okay. Get in here, I'll give you the keys. Okay, can I get an FTO to go with the cadet, please, and talk him through the process? Uh, who's running my light, Danny? I'm in here already. Should I go through it or let someone else do it? Ah, uh, you might as well go through it. Why not? All right. Be sure to radio in uh, when you want the, the thing to start and all that good stuff. All right. So, uh, um, we might have an issue with the crevice's car, his front right tire is gone. Use a different car. Vehicle. I'm sure you know how to do this. We're going to be following them. Yes, sir. They'll say they're going at this and this speed, road conditions, weather, and then you're going to request permission. All good? Yes, yes sir. You're going to want to try and do this at three different speeds. Delta. So, 45, 65, 80. All right. You may not be able to do A T, okay? Okay. No problem. We are ready. Go at A. Speed up 45 for us. Thank you. Am I following this one? Uh, can we yes. try and keep it within the confines of the lower car park, please? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that one's leaving. So this ex exercise is about pitting, not about evading. That vehicle left. Oh, I am repairing a cadet's car. Don't mind me. Oh, so far. M4. Okay, so another one there. I'm one one on drive. Hello. I'm, go I'm gonna need a suspect. Can someone please step up to be the suspect? Turn four. Thank you very much. Other car. <laughs> so a hard to go at about 45. Sorry, repeat last, McCoy. I uh, go at approximately 45 miles per hour. Turn four. Thank you, that's a signal. Ready when you are. Okay, I will go on one. This new vehicle will go on go. Turn four. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Go. Uh, suspect we'll to. Turn around. Uh, suspect is going approximately 40, 45 miles per hour. Weather conditions are clear. Uh, do I have permission to pit? <laughs> How about the um, traffic? Uh, there are no civilians in sight. Traffic is clear. We're on an empty road. Thank you. Otherwise, just remember to say going for a pit. Oh, tempo. All right, let's repeat. Um, hard 65, please. 10 4. We'll just roll on. Uh, we're going to do Okay, suspect is traveling at speeds around of 60 miles per hour. Um, vacant parking lot, no civilians that could be injured, uh, weather conditions are clear, do I have permission to go for pit? Permission granted. Turn 4. Go for pit. Is it successful? Nice job. And lastly, 80 miles per hour. 
might be difficult here. So let's try to start in a ride and accelerate. Let's back right up to the rear wall. Same as before, myself on one, and Kari's vehicle on go. Step up. <coughs> Three, two, one. Suspect uh, is driving at speeds of around 70 miles per hour, uh, but slowing down due to corners. But sticking around 70, 80 miles per hour, uh, we're in a vacant parking lot. Weather conditions are clear. Do I have permission to go for pit? Permission granted. Turn four. At 80 miles. Accelerate. Go for pit. Oh, didn't get out on that one. You may not be able to achieve the 80, if not, then try 70, um, Simple. get three successful pits, one on the higher end of the spectrum, that should be fine. Go for it. Just let them defeat at this point, no need to ask for uh, permission, just a hard accelerate. Oh, oh, are we done? Okay. We've hit it three times successfully. Dead four, okay. Okay, next kid set up to be the chaser, please. Go on, why not? Is the criminal staying the same for this, or uh, are I you wanting to switch? Okay. Remember, I do have a Tahoe if the Durango gets in a bad condition. Tahoe! He's gonna make uh, it. Keith Bright Cruiser, please. Play hearts did look gay. My go on one, you go on go. Tempo? Three, Tempo. two, one, go. It's not a game, that's perfectly sensible. Civ 29, I'll request permission to prepare weather is clear, low traffic, no civvies. Going about 40 miles an hour. Clear for pit. Anyone need any food or drink? No, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, I'm fine for now. Save 20 lamp is successful. Ready when you are? Give me the speed. You didn't give me a speed just now, so I went 65. Should I go slower or hop faster? That was at 65? No, it's 65. I do 40. 40, okay. It's 29, I request permission to pit. Speed is roughly 40. Weather is clear. No civvies, no vehicles. Clear for permission to pit. May have pitted him already. Yeah, for real. That was... It's 29, that's that. Kari, let's 
let's try 70, in case we got the room for it. Was that just my Three, eyes, or did he two, one, the go. rear door on the requesting some that one for the weather is clear, going roughly 30 miles an hour, no civvies, no vehicles. Jesus, you want to wait any longer? Running out of track here. This is why I prefer the airfield. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Lieutenant says, so we do. To be fair, this place is adequate for Academy Knights. Individually, I would totally take him elsewhere. Honestly, even for Academy Knights, there's nothing that can be done here that can be done better at the airfield. Yeah, I suppose. And we might not have the issues with spike strips up there because if anyone's up there driving, you can. Right. Right. We would need special clearance for um, flight traffic. Oh. Yes. Who is next for pitting? Yeah, I want to pit. Okie dokie. Right. Who's going to be chaser? Uh, who, who's going to be the the the, the the criminal. Right. Yeah, I'll be criminal for one. Alright. Uh, I do, it. do need keys though. Who's got keys? Wait, where's... Where's my man? Is he still mad on the end? I think so. Thank you so much for repairing me, dude. Of course, no problem. I think you keep bashing me up because uh, I got a bit yeah, of a bruise on my face after being oh, yeah, punched. It. It's me, just after keys. Yeah, not particularly long. I reckon we'll get this done within the next 10 minutes. Then a quick uh, brief on spike Thanks. stripping, and then we're done, pretty much. Food on them? Uh, yeah, I got some bus. Okay, successful. Who needs food? Okay, yeah. pretty aggressive. Try to uh, aim a little bit behind the vehicle. Um, you went for the side door currently. There we go. Alright. Do you need drink uh, as well? Same thing, 65. No, I'm good. Okay, oh. no worries. Uh, request some permission for pit. Speed 60 miles an hour. In the car park, the web is clear and there's no traffic. Who is this on the radio? What's your call sign? David Ferry requested this. Permission granted. Mission attack one. David Ferry going for pit. Pit successful. Okay, good job. And last, uh, go as fast as you can in that thing. It's spotted, but time for. The fuck? Request some permission for pit. We're in a car park. Permission granted, get him! Okay. He's, go he's gone loopy. He's actually gone loopy. Come on, get him! This place is just like, hey, yo. Where's the pit? Oh! Great success! <laughs> Um, that would have worked out otherwise, but um, you hit yeah. the way front. All right. I think something went to kaboom. Oh no. Yeah. So um, but you seem to have this issue that you go a little bit too far forward. You need to be hitting more the rear, rear of the vehicle. Yeah. Ten four. I think there's an activity going on. Ooh. Delta Alpha 9. There you go. Uh, what's the state of the Durango, please? Let's see. It's still fine. Okay. Oh, that's that a better canal. And who's this? Uh, is this Hart or Driver or. Wait, no. Atlas. Am I doing again? Oh, did I do it? 
under yours. Wait. Mine is a Liam Pound. No, I mean, uh, who's our candidate is this? Oh, I've driven, uh, driven, uh, driven on, so... You wanna take this one? Sorry, as instructor or...? As an instructor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the, uh... To your left, next to the pillar. <clears throat> this road and road. who is the criminal, please? Makari's doing it, I think. Okay. I think after the battering that I just took into the uh, into the wall, I need to sit one out. Yeah, I'm that's, sorry about that's that. That's fair enough. It's all good. If it was the airport, it would've... That would've been there. Airport, that's... you got a lot more room. It's the yeah. issue with here. Makari brings his keeper. Any of you guys uh, play a game uh, at home called Escape from Tarkov? No. No. Negative. It's a VR game that's just came out, and it's quite similar to it. It's like basically Escape from Tarkov, but in VR. Hmm. Mm. I'm debating getting it, because it looks quite, quite cool. Apparently, yeah, Escape from Tarkov is a really good game, so, yeah. Yeah, I, I play the shit out of that at home. It's it's horrendous how much time that takes up. If you're big on VR, then why not, right? Yeah, exactly. And Escape, we'll Escape from Tarkov would be amazing in VR. As long as the gunshots aren't as loud as... Oh, dude. Oh, it, walk up to you and just shoot. Don't shit the fucking bed. <laughs> In VR, they just walk up to your ear, put the gun next to your ear, and just shoot. <laughs> Wouldn't even need that. I just need the person to walk up next to me screaming at me. Traffic light. Oh, that's true. Could, could you imagine walking through a fucking minefield? In VR? Oh, dude, that'd be terrible. There's a. You can get, um, like, little additional things for VR that's like, um,. An impact vest, I think it's called. Yeah, so it, you can get yeah, vest. syncs up with your shit. So if you're getting shot, you'd be fucking crying. You feel it. You walk through a minefield, your legs just get decapitated. Hit successful. That uh, that caprice has seen better days. Oh yeah. Attempt, hence why we kept moving, but otherwise the second attempt was fine. Let's move it up to sixty, please, Makai. Hmm. Yeah, I play the shit out, tack off. I don't have time to go down to uh. Do as much as I'd like anymore. Delta three seven, requesting permission to pit. Speed R six zero. Is there any more uh, training clear. after this, or Traffic are we going to be wrapping up after this? Ability. A quick briefing on the use of spike strips, and then uh, we'll be taking any questions you guys may have about anything you've learned today. Um, a closing speech, and then you're good. Uh, okay, cool. So I would say probably within the next. 10, 15 minutes. Looking pretty bad, Makari. Beautiful. He's pretty bad, but I'm a pretty good driver. Let's go away. He's lost his mind. Okay. Well, well, stay skinny. I'm just going to quickly yeah, have a yeah, yeah. Like, two, three oh, minutes. Go. Joshua. Delta 3-7 Oh, shit. They have air one out on this pursuit. Excess of 80 mile an hour. Oh. Who are they when chasing? The I don't fucking know. Pedestrians and traffic low. Clearance granted. Looks like it was a Vangelica, what? maybe. Are they coming in here? No. No. I'm looking at the wrong people. They're headed up North Rockford right now. I can't see your tractor because I'm. Had to take a nap. Uh, barely. Uh, yeah. Tracker on, Lieutenant. Oh no, no, it's not. It's um, if description matches, it's Axel Hampton. Oof. In that oh. bloody silver, Korean Sultan. Oh, and no wonder they got everyone out there. Okie dokie. But I haven't really seen the people speed, so I did did the license plate for the game back to one Barry Cornell, so that's uh, a fat juicy warrant. Any questions in regards to pit training? No, ma'am. Negative. Negative. Okie dokie. Um, FTOs, who would like to give the group a briefing on the usage of spike strips? Our final module.
Looking for volunteers, folks. <laughs> Pointing too hard. The only reason why I'm not okay, since everyone's game. picking on hearts, heart, spike strips, please. <laughs> He's gone very quiet. That might be why he didn't volunteer. Hmm. Right, point him, point him to Kari. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, okay. Do we uh, break off? At no. Break uh, off, I'll handle spike strips. Tempo! They're additional. They have additional units out there as Tempo. well. So I do. We'll, lay that, that much. we'll wait and see. I'm a back. Hello, back. Are you on our comms or on their comms? I'm on our comms. I'll switch over so we can uh, I can hear. Yes, please. Uh, during this, Makari, Atlas, if you can just be ready to go as soon as possible. Um, yes. Just in case. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. okay. Hart, when you're ready. Gentlemen, as I'm if sure. you're Durango, okay. We are currently out Perfect. Of spike strips of okay, I'll stick that in. There will come a time where you may be called upon to use We them. have to go. Cool. In what situation do you think we might employ spike strips? You don't need to raise your hands, just oh, speak up. Um, when a pursuit has gone on for a significant amount of time and they are still uh, posing a threat to the public by how they're driving. Close. We are primarily... Mike, what's all units? Here. Got officers down, and we're going to need assistance on chasing them. Uh, yep, myself and Macari on the way. Do you two have um, keys to those cruisers? Do you need an additional cruiser? I can give you keys to my Tahoe. I got this. I'm sorry, Cadet, I'm taking your car. Godspeed, Jesse. Completely fine. Godspeed. I was going to say, make sure you found it when you're done with it. Anyway. As we were saying, uh, the length of the chase is not necessarily an indicator. The risk to civilians is. Where okay. would you employ spike strips? Out in the countryside. Where it's safe to do so. And, and parallel to where they're driving, hopefully. Okay, so in a pursuit, what unit would typically be employed to get ahead and deploy the spike strips in the line of travel? The one who's driving parallel. Phenomenal. Don't all let McCrevis answer for you. Would I be correct in saying that um, if a vehicle is too large to pit, say for example, we were out in these lovely capris, and uh, we were coming up against a truck, for example, we would try to use a spike strip to disable the truck's tyres uh, to try and reduce the pursuit speed to the point where the driver could potentially give up, meaning we do not have to write off the cruisers. Exceptional, though you will be surprised at what these little caprices can handle with those bull bars installed. Do we deploy spike strips in a full speed highway pursuit, gentlemen? No, sir. No, no. And why not? Uh, risk of life. Precisely. Do we deploy spike strips without authorization from superior officers? No, no. sir. Phenomenal. I'm going to be honest, that's about the extent of my knowledge on spike strips without showing them how to unroll the damn things. Okay. So, much like pitting, you wouldn't do it within city limits as much as possible. Unless, of course, the cost of life is significant enough to warrant it. Okay? It's a numbers game out there. If you do need to put that on spike strips, you will do so from a location where you are both covered, able to deploy and retrieve the spike strips pretty damn swiftly without any danger to your own life. You will also be doing this from a position that will catch the suspect unawares. 
and where it will hopefully not affect civilians, okay? So you wanna be looking for hopefully a break in traffic on say like a freeway, um, try for like the outer part of a turn where the, you know that someone in a pursuit is going to be steering a little bit wide. Um, you know, uh, try and find columns, anything like that that you can hide behind to give yourself any form of um, protection. You're also gonna wanna be making sure that you're not seen by the suspect because if they, if they can see it coming, they're gonna swerve it. At use of uh, scenes during Vangelico, stuff like that, you will hear them wanting the Los Santos special, which calls for no spike script and free passage. Now, feel free to spike strip because they won't be at high speeds. They'll be just leaving the scene and honestly, fuck them. Uh, it's it's um, going well, Jamie. Oh, shit. You try and do it in a place that is out of sight, but close by to the scene where you can easily I'd, just pick uh, them up some and PD shit to, on my other screen. <laughs> uh, get on their case as it's soon as well. they pop. Um, a long ass training day. Do not ever leave them left there in the middle of the road, ever. Make sure that you are communicating over radio. Appreciate the radio. Make sure that your fellow officers know that they are coming. They will take measures to avoid these spike scripts. They'll also be giving space to the person you'll be stri uh, spiking as they will probably lose control of their car. And we do not want that car to go careening into any of our officers. For similar reasons, we radio in when we're going to be pitting so that officers around can obviously make preparations for it to happen in case of hitting the back wheel and they spin out of control and you have a car coming straight into like your fellow officer and potentially causing two casualties instead of the one. This goes back to what I said earlier about the uh, protection of life. Criminals put themselves in these situations. They made that choice. You need to work to protect the sanctity of your life, the officer, and the civilian. The criminal comes last. Don't pop. Ooh. Is anyone familiar with what spike scripts look like and what they do? I'm sure you've all seen movies. Yeah. Yep. Oh. <sighs> okay, good. All right. Pretty much everything. It's fun, right? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, good, good, good. Any questions uh, for about anything we have covered over for, uh, over FTS1 or tonight that needs uh, an answer here and now? No oh, question is a stupid question. Uh, I did have a question. Do we have a um, non-emergency and an emergency alert for an officer down? Or is it just the one? Negative. If you use your distress button, it will make every officer in this force think you are down and in dire Tempo. need of assistance. Okay. So yeah. radio Wait. in if you are in non-emergency. Mm. Uh, you can radio in. You can um, text the police line, or you can make a nine one one call and just go. Um, you know. So if it... if you got hurt, you know you fell over or something, and just just let them know that you're hurt. But it's not okay. You know, crucial at the moment. So if like it's an active scene, then distress beacon. So if mm -hmm. you've just uh, like maybe you've been incapacitated from a car accident, you wouldn't yeah. distress. You can. Just depends if there's a lot going on. Um, if not, you can't. You know. Okay. Tempo. If you know there's like a big something going on, um, I probably wouldn't because they're gonna break off from. Yeah. That. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, obviously it depends on you know if you went flying out of your car or something and are able to hit the button then, you know. I'd say it depends um, just, on the situation on it. Just remember, you can use your F1 belt to do so, or you can just simply think about distress. Okay? Please don't go. Please do not do that now. <laughs> Any other okay. questions, gents? I'll take Hello. your silence as an enthusiastic no. I'm happy to skip the final pop quiz if you are, Armitage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am. Um... What I will say is, can you cover their eligibility and expectations of what's to come? This is the part where I remind you we didn't do that. So, 
now that you have completed your FTS2, you are all eligible for promotion to the rank of Police Officer 1. This is not a guarantee. If there are any concerns about your conduct between now and the next meeting, you may be held back. Is that clear? Yep, Crystal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, cool. Once you reach the rank of Officer 1, there are some additional certifications which are available to you if you are willing and able to seek out a supervisor for training. At Officer 1 rank, your options are somewhat limited as you progress wonderful things like FTO, SWAT, MBU, etc. will open up to you. Uh, I believe... I actually had a chat... I actually had a chat with the chief about this yesterday during my SAP training. Um, FTO, so I'll, I'll do it from eligibility. So when you become a PO1, you have certifications available to you. Uh, you'll be able to pick up motorcycle units, the, uh, the highway patrol unit, and you can also participate in the SWAT training as well, led by Hudson. Um, when you reach PO3, you can look to get trained as an FTO, which means you'll be doing what Hart here is doing. You'll be going through the same training he's been going through today um, that we've all gone through, and you'll basically be, well, future cadets' best friends, apparently. Um, or worst enemies. Or worst enemies, depending on how you, uh, you go about it. Um, everyone has their teaching style, so you could uh, you know, be a drill instructor, instructor if you want to. Uh, either way, you'll also have additional things you can train on. Um, depending on whether or not the regimes are complete or not, there are like specific pieces of weaponry, such as the sniper rifle, that uh, you might be able to get trained on. Um, you also have extracurricular stuff. Um, for instance, being involved with the EMS, if you need to be, or the fire department, take on additional duties. But for now, I would definitely suggest you sort of focus on your police work and try and refine what you know and uh, get comfortable in the seat you are in now, okay? Ten four. All right then. Congratulations, uh, cadets! You have passed FTS one, FTS two, and FTS three. Thank you. Ten four. Let's go. You no longer have really to listen to me one? prattle. I mean, Good job, everybody. They do still yeah. have to listen to you prattle. I suppose. Um, just to make sure you're aware before you go to that. Um, you may be asked by cadets in the future to add them up with you. Um, they'll be in the exact same position you are in now. Okay, so have heart. Tim Pot. And yep. if I'm no. not available, have heart. Oh, missed. There are two suspects in that Vangelico. I suggest <laughs> you all get back on tack one and make the greatest speed possible. If you're going to be staying on duty, feel free to go. If you're if you're going off duty, have a wonderful evening. Brown unit. I'm doing this. Jump fired on Mountain Lion. Turn if you need to, guys. Don't let him get to the motorway and steal our car. Should we move the 10 night Evangelico to attack 3? Negative all traffic, tank 1 please. Air 1's breaking off, going towards the Evangelico robbery right, now that right. you guys have got them in custody. Uh, black 4 door, 2 individuals. Last black in custody.
Uh, David 36 is going to be 76. David 36 is going to be 76 into the latest 1090 Vangelica robbery. We're on Boulevard de Pelagero going westbound now. Keep on the left, now Marathon Ave, eastbound, oh, alleyway. Who's the primary on this barricade? Oh god, I just stepped in. They're going past the... Garage turning left. No, oh, actually going straight through the movie theater. What the fuck is in the synapse opening? Be advised, the suspects for Evangelica. One was wearing yellow plaid. One was had a blue mask. So these could be two more warrants here. No problem. They could be somewhere in the movie theater. Another vehicle. Uh, appears as though the Vangeco robbery is clear. There is no vehicle here. I'm just gonna. Oh, what? Don't no, they already me. took off. I was for chasing them. Oh, they've taken off. The oh. What was the last scene on the vehicle? They were around the movie studio. Cool. What's the description of the vehicle? It's a black four door with two individuals. One had a blue mask, the other one a yellow plate shirt. Jump off. Exit's around his neck. I did just hear uh, tire screeching on my 20. Make him one, 10 for two. Be safe, guys. Thanks for your service. You too, thank you for your service. Checking the adjacent parking lot. Suspects were there. Thanks, you service. Thank you, service. Thank you, looking for the suspects. Um, we may have a hit on them. Uh, there's a multi story car parked by the movie studio, 7213. 10 for David 29 together with Frank 21 are en route. Which door? Eyes on. This place is full of fingerprints. Yeah, no confirmed. Great. North Boat Morningwood Boulevard. Taking the right on the West Eclipse Boulevard. The passenger has a yellow shirt. David 378 actually going to be coming up. Going West Eclipse Boulevard, eastbound. 
David Ferry, 10 42 10 7. Continuing West Eclipse Boulevard eastbound. Passing by Comic Store eastbound. Continuing east eastbound. Stopping at Pacific Bank. They're getting out. Switching vehicles to a yellow lowrider. Cash money and that bad goes to bad goes. Both of them have warrants. At, both of them has war warrants after their arrest. Apprehended at all costs. Central. Everyone's got a lock on the place. It'll be three MP4. Uh, I'm going to stay behind and check the vehicle. Can you in fact west west down. Left, Making a left onto Las Lagunas going southbound. Going towards the Rockford Plaza. Eagles registered to a Mateo Lopez. Headache. And just stop. Making a right going into the Rockford Plaza at Lost Eyes. Occupation Ave. Eyes on, heading westbound. Yep, they're going to be on Castle Way now, going past the City Hall. Going westbound. Welcome with the hydraulics. Making a left onto Palomino Avenue, going southbound. Why the fuck is this being so delayed? David 27 going to be taken over. Call outs. I no punched my button. Takes priority over unit call outs. Bro, that's crazy. Going to make a left past Weasel News, going eastbound. Turning left onto. Um, I forgot the name of this road. I don't know how I forgot. Uh, Boulevard. Now we're on Vespucci Boulevard going eastbound. It's running. Right fucking here it's running. Site. Dude, I actually fucking hate Razor. Like, look, it's running. The continuing over the Vespucci Boulevard bridge. Continuing all the way along Vespucci Boulevard. <laughs> Gonna be making a left on El Rancho now, northbound. Then making another left onto San Andreas Avenue going eastbound. Or westbound. Making a right onto Interstate 2. We're gonna be going northbound. Themselves. Never mind, we're back on. Rammed an officer twice. Yeah, gonna be getting off oh. Interstate 2. Gonna be getting me on to Interstate 5. Going southbound. Gonna be going below Interstate 5. I wanna lose eyes. Continuing on road. Sector. Going on the on route. Coming on to Innocence Boulevard. Uh, going back onto the interstate. So, wrong route, uh, opposite lanes of travel. Regain visual. In an opposite lanes of travel. Gonna be going across the Green Bridge soon. Yep, they're gonna be going out this exit here. No, never mind, back in opposite. Oh, they just rammed another officer. How many units do we have on pursuit? I'll oh, break off, you guys go ahead. Four units, three, uh, mark. Gonna 
gonna be going eastbound across the green bridge. Fire, going to be going across the red bridge now. Hey, US following going eastbound. Yeah, it was uh, fun. Four, back on, back on to Interstate Two. Uh, God damn it! Mm. I've got two tires on his left hand side. You guys hit a tornado warning that just went this out. Uh, yeah. This, this pursuit is too dangerous, guys. You're gonna have to pull it off. 10 4. 10 4. Air 1's gonna land before we get whiffed off to another country. Yeah, incoming tornado. Get yourself to a station. Any station will do. No place like home, guys. No place like home. If anybody gets the chance, uh, chuck his warrant up as well. Both of them are getting extra charges for that. Got two sets of fingerprints from West. This is an all units 1019. Can't turn this fucking land ship. Who's gonna pay for that, Atlas? Who's gonna pay for it? Make the basement the safest place in LRPD! Are you two just doing all the damage? Yeah, I appreciate you, uh, yeah. Goldie. Fucking tornado, guys, get inside! Greg, get to the base, Greg! Get to the sound! Heck yeah. I had my dubs in round, we had a, uh, air one in the air. It's okay, it's okay. I was like, I'm uh, gonna take out the call-outs, and I was like, there's a helicopter, I was like, oh, okay. To be fair, we never really do, um, talk about it, but, yeah. Um, Air 1 is generally primary when it comes to call-outs. Yeah, uh, I, I, I got ahead of myself and oh, just got caught in the moment. You You're gonna be good, man. Yeah, everybody get yourself pot noodle and hunk it down, and, uh... Hopefully I'll pass soon. I'm 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 just gonna take this opportunity to continue my pa papier mache project upstairs. I'm gonna run for the that's what I have to set the station. What paper mache are you making? The Eiffel Tower. Oh you shit. Get, you you might wanna leave. This is this this is this is a personal thing. Oh I see, okay. It's, okay, my, it's my meditation. Oh okay, you're Zen, you're Zen. Yo, so much, you wanna play darts? Where are you at? Motherfucker, where'd he go? Hey, David 37. Oh, you already fucking flew out. Oh, I see. We are flying out.
Come on down. FBCC. He said he's willing to sell his soul to make it in the music industry. Come on down. Come on down. No, no, no. I have nothing but hustle. Come on down. Wanna be love, wanna be famous, wanna be rich. Wanna be anything, wanna be anybody that I'm not. Come on down. 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 Oh shit. Hey boy. Ba 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 drink less or anything like that drink less in case we can get the job done you know I'm always there for my wife and my son at the end of the day I love to pour water more like two but occasionally three and it scares me because I have a problem and it's true that I'm a solver ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. I look at my mom, I look at my dad and see how drugs and alcohol took away everything they had and it makes me sad on a balance but I feel bad didn't drink till I was 27 then I did from then Bed nightly. My blood, so I might be. Drug addicts, well, it's in my genes, so I might be. La 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 la. Carrying every load. La 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 la.
Bro, I need to fix this. There we go, look at that. Does that work? Bro. Oh wait, it's because I'm not on duty. Uh, David 36 going back 10-8. Hello, Greg? Units, keep a lookout for the yellow car that we were chasing. And four. Four. Thank God it was a, a quick tornado just over the state. If we can get a couple units south side, get a search around the barrio area and uh, David. Tempo, um, David 36, gonna head down there now. Uh, flank 23 um, at the latest. Did. Oh. Plain and simple, he did. Can we just exact the warrant, please? Uh, I think I have eyes on the two suspects that we were chasing before from uh, the Evangelico. Uh, blue mask and then yellow shirt. I've seen no, one of I've seen one of them breaking into a vehicle. Maggie, I'm gonna radio, I'm gonna call in my number if you can just give me a quick phone call. Oh wait. I'll do. 
busted vehicle that the suspect's are in is going to be a Buccaneer plate oh, yeah. 23 UD. My problem's fucked as well. Switch to TAC 2 with me, please. Yeah, 23 UD is the stolen vehicle. I saw them breaking into it when I arrived on scene. You don't seem to be moving, are we gonna... Oh, never mind. Doing a Chinese car swap? Yeah. Okay, they're setting up. Radio silence. It's going to be on Capitol Boulevard, passing Central Los Santos Medical Center, going eastbound, passing Zero Petrol Station, southbound on Strawberry Ave. Making a right onto Innocence Boulevard, another right onto Power Street, northbound. Adam's apple continue oh, this is Elgin, sorry. Northbound. Is anyone back in comms? Again, they're on BP and now going northbound. Making a left on to Spanish Ave going east westbound. Another left onto Power Street going southbound. Oh, I think they uh, bubbled. <laughs> He's coming out east side. Last Lagunas Boulevard, cutting oh, straight across. Oh. Minor 1050 of a local. Running through the construction yard, taking a jump onto the freeway down below. They, they are flipped. flipped on their side. Oh, wait, no, they recovered, they recovered. Westbound up the freeway. Looks like they're gonna do the tunnel, yeah. Stand for units. Let me know if he goes onto the, the metro tracks or if he goes through the sewer. I'm gonna be by my MRPD. Stand for. Sir, stop your vehicle! Generator by tuning at it. They've popped one of our tires. I think I popped one of them. We'll be clear to open fire on their tires. Mm, wait for them to return more shots. 
tempo. Steering through the railway tunnel. Let us know if he gets on the track. Track. He's on the track, he's bound. 10 4, he'll be coming up by Mission Row, we're on the waiting zone. Yeah, fine. Up out of tunnel now. Going into the canal now. In the Ellis River. We're gonna be heading southbound. Hey, thank you. Making a U-turn going back north. Engine is heavily smoking. Be careful with invisible objects. Pulling a UE. Going southbound, trying to cross the walls. Air 1 is gonna go back by Mission Row. You let us know if he gets on the track or if he goes back. Oh, through. Jesus Christ! So, we've had multiple flips, one recovery. Yeah, I'm flipped out. Continuing into tunnels. Eyes on. Uh, The foot I flip my car. Oh, cannot flip it. <laughs> you not flip cars. <laughs> this probably won't do it. Yeah, my car's flipped. I'm gonna be out. Under Integrity Way, heading westbound. Central. On track. Super slow. Can we get additionals in here, please. Right, 24 is going to be there. Let that one know if they're making U turn if they go back on the other direction of the tracks. Giving them a lot of space given the lack of uh, backup right now. Parking up next to a station. Confirm. You're bailing? Foot bail, foot bail. bail. I'm going on the track. I'm gonna follow that one. Phil, can you get to the stairs? Follow Blue Man. Um, uh, the individual is heading up the stairs. <laughs> no more warnings, go to face. Them. 
be a current save, but you gotta. Suspect is proceeding on route got one, got one. Got one. Got one. We need a uh, transport unit over at 7232. That's the lagoon at Boulevard, please. Up onto a rooftop. Are you guys going to need more uh, food officers? If you secured an officer, we could do with. Um, can you just go pick up the cruiser? Currently standing with uh, officer with Cadet Summers. Suspect on the roof has a gun in his hand. Do not tase them off of that. See that someone's is taking one suspect to MRPD. Twenty-three at last Lagunas bus station. Suspect is contemplating uh, jumping. Claims to be out of ammo. I'm sure. Do we need to get the fire department here? It's not in the train station. We have one suspect in custody. <laughs> Would that be the suspect on the roof? This is the one in blue suspect on the roof, yes. Uh, any eyes on the... the other? Any idea on the second one? The other suspect is already in custody and is en route to MRPD. Oh, oh yeah. We get a uh, a prisoner transport on seven two four five. Ten four en route. I have a evidence report ready. Uh, ID four seven five. Dave 29 is going down into the tunnel for evidence to take the punch of the Is Mateo back at the station? 10 4. 10 4. Um, the is it there is a warrant out for Mateo? Well, I was the one who issued it. Nothing. I'll uh, get the gentleman into a cell for whoever you're going to speak to. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, the prisoner transport vehicles uh, arrived uh, at, tw at the 20. Knocking <sighs> evidence sweep off the stolen vehicle. Oh. <laughs> no way, bro. But... Hey, man. Oh, God. God damn it. Oh, I like muscles. Oh, God, I'm I slurring so you much. on the strength. I found two sets of prints as well as multiple casings. Cash, please mind your head. Okay. I am gonna need to find my vehicle. I take you uh, to him. It's by like a uh, railroad entry close by, I think. Uh, it's oh, actually, yeah, same. I think it's like somewhere here. Yeah, if you go out here, take a left. So y'all sent a helicopter and five fucking police cars because I taste Jay fucking Huxley. I think that is exactly what happened, yes. Um, Does that make sense to you? Yeah, I mean... You were evading. Oh, here. Yeah, this is me. I was evading. If 29 has got permission to impound the stolen vehicle. Thank you. No problem. Have you taken photos of it and searched it and all the contents and everything? Oh, shit, I'm about to starve. Then. You're about to stop? Oh shit, right, let's get some food. Get the PD pretty uh, fast, man. Oh yeah, we're going. Yeah, document everything, including the vehicle itself, and then you're probably... Uh, David, put 676 into a map, PD 195. Go fast, I don't want you to stab on me, Cash. Uh, 10-9 Makari. I'd say, and regarding the stolen vehicle, just document everything. Oh like man, you actually became a cop? That's fucked up. <laughs> I told you, brother. Fuck, man. One box truck, I'll be shooting. Probably the only cop you haven't shot. Apparently. That is not, sh that is not like the, the case, man. I never shoot at people. Do you need medical, sir? Nah, I'm good. Okay, just food. I was only trying to make them think I was about to jump off the roof so they could back off, but it didn't work. Don't go anywhere first. Let's see what you've got. Really hungry, man. Oh, don't worry, I can hold. Oh my God. What's he got? What? What do I got? I don't even remember, bro. What's he got? What I got? Alcohol and stolen goodies. Oh, oh yeah, alcohol, lovely. bro. I was at a party earlier. Were you drinking? Okay. You um, tend to do that at parties. Are you driving? Uh, Come on, take, mm. take the handgun. So, the guy who was with Cash, take his hand that gun really and is the only watches. probably just Okay, uh, should, I get him, should I get him in a cell first, sir? Uh, take him now before we put him in the cell. Uh, I don't want him in the cell with a gun. Yeah, well, I mean, I wouldn't have uncuffed we... him. Alright, let's have a look, sir, what you got on you. You better uncuff me, man. Should I already have a sample. I think. Oh, yeah. I don't know uh, who that is. Robbing, he didn't believe what you were saying, man. You should kick his ass for that one. Ah, okay. Well, there's also a current warrant for cash, so make sure that whoever's dealing with that can they All right, add sir. the charges too. And if they yeah. Let's go. They uh, actually, I'm going to softcuff you. Uh, no, I've heard follow. your problem, Mike. Probably a bad idea to softcuff him, right? Well, yeah. What Did you think you've been talking to? I took the, the gun. Hand gun and the yeah. Rolexes. Uh, not yet, so I just took out the handgun just so he wouldn't be able to use it. Damn, how crazy do y'all think I am? I've heard stories, sir. Exaggerated. Mm. Make sure you take the Rolex before you put him in, because he's going to give you shit. Yeah, yeah. 10 four. 
All right, uh, hold on here, Cash. Uh, all right, I'm gonna need you to. Is he? Where is he? Yeah, but. Oh, he's here. What's happening? Weird. Do you see yes. Cash? Yes, I can see the whole time. Oh, okay. Could you uh, scan your fingerprint here? I already got my fingerprint scanned like 700 times here, man. Y'all definitely have. Alright, perfect. Alright, so. What cell do you want? One, two, or four. Why is this bitch speaking French? I don't know. Oh, you're not in the cell. Alright, Cash. I'm just going to sock off him if you want to step away from me. No, you got to completely uncover me, man. Did you take the goodies? Uh, no, yeah, I'm going to sock off him so he can come closer to you. No, you don't sock off him unless you've taken everything already. Oh, he's right, going gotcha. to walk to the back there and he's going to make you go in there and then you're going to fucking rescue him. I can't. How can I do all that with a handcuff, man? I'm a nice guy, y'all are over-exaggerating. These stories you're all hearing about, he's lying. exaggerating. He's lying. Oh, I was up driving, I didn't see you there. Alright, what you got there? Mm -hmm. I heard you in my, in my mind while I was running on the roof, man. I was in the helicopter, man, I was right next to you. Fuck I was, yeah! I, I wasn't looking out to the side, man, because I'm, I'm a fear of heights. What did you do? Alright, let's have a look what well, you got, you Cash. So we got some there. watches as well. Yeah, yeah, we I got already got documented it, so take the watches off. Because I'm full, I can't carry everything here. And the, uh, the Oxy as well? What? I'm about to stop the dead man! I've got two oh. times the same fingerprint, oh, one time is a different than the All right. fingerprint. And a casing. Good. So you can right. walk around. Can I pass that on to you? He's gonna... yeah. He's running! <laughs> oh, he got him with the head! My god! <laughs> I'm about to start to death. Then get in the yeah, cell. Well, maybe you can eat if you just don't run out. Then no, we'll uncuff you and you can eat. <laughs> right. Okay. Come. Come to this. Right. I'm gonna give you some food. Hold on. Wait there. I swear to j okay. Hold on. I can't check my pockets while I'm handcuffed. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I know. That's why I'm getting you. Hold on. What's your? Uh, there's lots of people around me. I don't. Oh, man. I don't know who he is because uh, lots of people are around me right now. I have already. food already. Oh, you have food already? Okay. All right. Let's get you uncuffed then. I mean, it was good. I wanted to shoot them. Oh man! But they would have. Alright, Mr. Cash, let's have a look. So you have a warrant. So refrain from such, and it's sad. All right, possess your government equipment slash vehicle, assault the deadly weapon. So that is your warrant. So let's have a look. What else you've done here? Uh, was Cash the driver of said vehicle? Oh. No. Wow. I think you might have a spider on your foot. Thank you. Hey, Rebecca, baby, I can hear you like you're in my face right now. Where you at? We're all done. Yes, sir. Um, if you want to read um, 475, that's the original case that they were being chased for now. Four seven five. But Four Jericho. seven five. Yeah. No, he just has a. Is it not seven thirteen? His warrant. Oh really? You know it, baby. Weird. Why is he saying four seven? Oh, no. Uh, turned on at some point. I was being hey. rough with him. Uh, looks like this. No, 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 no. Four seven five under reports. Oh, ten four. Yeah, that one's from yesterday. The other one. Okay. Okay. Let me ask him so Cash, you like you like being roughed up, man, but you complain when we do it to you? I don't complain. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Part it's all part of it, man. The complaint is part of it. It's kinda weird. You like being you like being roughed up? I can handle it. It's just Open the gate and find out, man. Open the gate and find out, man. Do you think he's close enough? I think he's close enough. Nope. 
I'm Mr. Mooney. You, are you serious? <laughs> Alright, so yeah, Cash. So he's yeah. looking at, uh, Makari, what's the actual charge of Angelico? Is it, um, uh, what you call it? Uh, armed uh, robbery? Be robbery, yeah, yeah. Who searched Mr. Mooney? I did. Uh, I do you happen to have a weapon off of him? Though. Um, I got yeah. a case in that's not coming uh, back to uh, um, the but... Uh, the casing, it, uh, I've got the serial number for the, the yeah. gun. But did he have a gun? He had, he a, had gun, a gun. Yeah. He had a P99. A lot of other stuff. It's in the data already. You can read it. I mean, they still didn't get into a shootout on the rooftop. What are you talking about? Did you run, really run out of bullets? No. Uh, come on, I, I just wanted y'all to stop shooting at me. And yeah, more surprisingly, I'm surprised I'm the one who did the ceasefire. It's not like you, man. You changed. But... I know. Oh, wait. I know what's different. I haven't got my shotgun on my back. Be right back. So, uh, are you primary on this? You're gonna be running the... I was the first one on these Angelicos here. Yeah, you wanna maybe talk to the cadet over there so he gets everything done? Uh, right, because you might know the most. Oh, we have a bit of like. All I know, yeah. all I know oh. is the robbery and the yeah. Uh, yeah. felony evading. Yeah, After that, I wasn't I wasn't around for any of the other chases. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm almost gonna have to write the incident report about that. It's what? Right. I, I can try to do it. Um, yeah, I, I, I was literally only there. Uh, what did I just they, hear over? Alright, Cash, so. Yo. You're we found away on from me, but then we found them again. Cash, your original what? one is assault with a deadly weapon and possession of government yeah, equipment yeah, slash yeah, vehicle. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, guilty man. But the compound is cocaine, is that what I just said? It was that's Colombian it. sugar. Yeah, that's what we, that's what we call it. Uh, that's what. <laughs> Listen, I'm the, the Vagos told them that it was exclusive Colombian sugar. And yeah, so you know what that like, means, mm, right, driver? Hey, man, I got some uh, Colombian water if you want. He's on that capacity. Let, let, let me roll it over to you, man. Dispatch yeah. was. The... We, we, we How do you not know what that means? I can barely hear anything either way. Vodka? So. Yeah, that's Wait, Russian water. Yes, Russian, oh, Russian water. water. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah, try it, man. Oh it's my god. Dispatch cool. was detained. It's, it's fucking spicy. Why is it spicy? Spicy it's alcohol. It's very it pure spicy? alcohol. <laughs> Jesus. Hang on, I got some apple juice to, to, to like, chill you don't out, man. Take, like don't do it. We call that spicy juice. Uh, yeah, man, this is like something they come, that come from the Caribbean. Caribbean apple juice? I think yeah, we man. need to... Driver, I, I think we need to brush you up on street names. Catch that, driver. Your, your breath smells flammable. Jesus Christ. Huh. Okay, this maybe this will be better than the... It's mouthwash. Oh, okay. Place the swallowed kind. No, this is gonna be more alcohol. Je Jesus, I don't know Jeez. if I feel too good. I don't think you should be driving after this driver. I don't think uh, he should be on duty, man. He should be firing, fine. drinking on the job. What? Uh, uh, the shots fire near Ulu Cafe. What? Yeah, so, uh, what, what are you doing on at? the job, man? You just uh, all right, cash show. No, yeah, the water. four charges sure. you're gonna be looking at. What? And. Eleven thousand dollar fine and a recommended sentence of fifty six months. How are you playing? Uh, you mind if I go through the report first? Yeah, cash me, sir. So, uh, please save it so that I can. Yeah, I'm saving it. It's I'll gonna be under seven thirteen. I'm still adding more descriptions to it. But... <laughs> he folds up his pizzas, man. <laughs> You not roll up your pizza cash? A good New York no, pizza? Bro. Get like a big ass slice? You gotta fold that shit. Are you writing a new one or are you adding it to I'm the warrant? I'm not morbidly obese, bro, so uh, I don't do need to do that. Do you not just add it onto the warrant since them. it's uh, additional charges? Bro, oh, I look like I'm just asking Brendan you. Fraser oh, no, yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm adding it to the warrant. <laughs> yeah, if you look at the bottom of the warrant, I've um, kind of separated it. Let me warn that. Just a moment. Uh, I do have more to write, so as soon as I set them off, I'll finish that report. Um, wait, there's only 
I thought with a deadly weapon, possession of the way. Aren't Who got assaulted? Uh, what did I, I assault? Know, that seems really small charges for everything. What was the okay? I don't think nine months was small for that kind of game. I mean, I would have resisting well, arrest. Well, okay. Yep, definitely well, resisting arrest. Yeah, reckless Impossible. driving. Was he the one driving? Possession of a deadly weapon. I mean, it was a illegal weapon. It doesn't have a license either, so you know, get all those gun oh, charges. You're missing there. one. Uh, there, I believe there's a charge where it's like uh, possession of a uh, police equipment. Uh, yeah, that you got that one. Then uh, brandishing. Yeah, that one, that's also yeah. another. No, no, that one. Don't oh, wait, have you that guys got. Why? You guys got some oh, shit off of him? The police equipment one. I've been drinking as well, man. So, you know, throw driving the taser previously that. in the morning. Yeah, throw driving under the influence on that one. Gosh, where did you get this gun? Where the fuck did you come from? Bro, you do where, cocaine with the bongo? Where, yeah. Where did you get this gun? The P99, is that an exclusive PD? I weapon? actually don't know what. It has a runnable serial. I, yeah, man. Listen. I, and it comes back to you. What? Oh, <laughs> I know what that is, man. Uh -huh. There's a situation where if I buy a gun in like off the off the streets, it just for some reason has a serial number when it shouldn't. Have. And but it has a has a serial number with a forward slash in it. With me? Yeah, and it comes back to you. I don't know. I can't explain that one, right? When have I ever had a weapons license? Exactly, which is why I'm confused. Okay. Hey, man. So it's so, not yeah. an illegal weapon, it's got a serial number. Oh, okay. shit, let's uh, drop that charge, so, baby. How, wait, how did you get so a I've legal added, uh, weapon resisting illegally? resisting arrest. Anything else? <laughs> it's, the, it's how I roll, baby. It's that how makes no sense. Is this one you know what about, like, the perfectly forged firearms license? You've literally never had a firearms license. Yeah, I forged my mom's signature. <laughs> Even Suspect. the people with legal firearms licenses can't get a weapon Suspect with their serial on from, it. Uh, Steam Bank. Why are you shouting at me, man? I don't know. Because I'm confused. Why? Because you're on cocaine? Ah. Ah. <laughs> spicy Why? Steak. Open the gate, man. Y'all want no. more charges, man? Open the gate. Uh, okay. What are you talking about? Open the game, man. All right, what do you guys have on so far? You get more charges. You seem to be so complaining about the lack of charges. From, on from the no, warrant, no reason for me to open from the, the warrant, game. he had assault with deadly weapon, possession of a government equipment. Whoa, what the hell? Hey, okay. Wait, I'm just, put your shit on, on the door. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Don't you dare. Cash, what do you have? What did he just grab? Have Did he grab anything oh, yeah, off you? Oh shit, that was watching YouTube shorts. Yeah, they... Did he grab anything off you? Uh, it, oh, it, it, yeah, he's got my gun and my taser. Oh fuck. Okay. You better not pull nothing. Oh, getting tired. You need to, you need to get, come over to the bars and face away from us. He's reaching. Cash. Come on, wow, Cash. Wow, 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 Cash, don't wow, do it. I did play Red Dead. Mr. Mooney, you need to like come towards the, the bars Dead and Redemption, face away from <laughs> us. Don't do it, Cash. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to sing, but I sound horrendous. Yeah, I know. I, I, can't, I can't choose how it sounds exactly. <laughs> this shit is a gift and a curse. Frank 21 calling. So, boys, what's it going to be? It's going to be you facing away from us and us putting cuffs on you. And taking those back. Okay. Okay. Back up. Follow, you know, follow the my voice and come back to the bars. <laughs> Someone, <laughs> Someone! It's only a taser. It's only a taser. Get in here, man. Oh, I rolled it. Wait, wait, stay back from him, stay back from him so you don't get hit. Really oh, no, something. Oh, my He's oh, no. Just resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. <laughs> stop resisting. Stop yep, stop resisting. Stop resisting. Hit him a bit more. He's still resisting. Stop resisting. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Fuck you, man. Can you hear me? Did he, did he hit you then? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so that's another. You that's assault. Me, yeah. That's you assault. Me, yeah. oh, you hit him really hard. Mr. Mooney, can you hear me? It's really you fucking hit him very hard 20 times. He's probably screaming his little What's name. What's uh, uh, automatic driver? Is he on it? Uh, uh, I can't find a pulse. You need EMS on here right now. He's what? I'm going to try and Ray call Williams. EMS. No, hey, Siri, no, 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 play no, Celebration. No, 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 we need to get EMS. We don't, we don't right have now. EMS. Someone, someone switch to Tech 9. Oh, I see. Uh, PD to, to EMS. I was just gonna do that with my hand. Oh, he's uh, alive. He's alive. Oh, okay, EMS out around anyway. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, man. Okay, I'm gonna grab this shit off of you. We're done with training for the night. I'm only grabbing the taser, man. I swear I can hear shots. Oh, holy oh, shit, man. Oh, he's got my gun, dude. Yeah, I found the gun. You liar. You tried to put it deep in there. Interesting. So we had a little bit of a situation in the uh, cells, but we should be code for now. Holy shit. What happened? That's crazy. Sorry, 10 9 you last. Was it cash money again? Uh, yeah, he managed to uh, grab a taser off of an officer. That's crazy. What the fu Oh my god, I had a brain freeze. I'm right at that. That's so bullshit. Y'all give me no chance, but I will know that you just, you, you just, your heart just fucking stopped. Alright, so how many more additional else. charges? Is like that just got it? Is there a assault on a government official? I think we just keep this one off the books, guys. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I yeah, totally, yeah. I didn't radio it in no. or anything. Oh. Too slow, motherfucker. Uh -huh. I'm being swamed. Uh, uh, all right. Bro, I almost died, so y'all want to trade any card? All right, scum. I mean, suspect. Uh, ah! So you're going to be looking at my, uh, my gear. Yep. assault with a deadly weapon, possession of government equipment slash vehicle, armed robbery, felony evasion, and resisting arrest. Thank you. Thank how are you playing? How am I playing or how am I playing? Playing. I'm a player. Yeah? Yeah, I'm a player. You look like a player behind those Why bars. Yeah, man. So, uh, a uh, guilty man. I don't know. Guilty? Alright, so you could, you'd be looking at a, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you'd be looking at a $12,000 uh, $12, fine no and uh, recommended 66 month sentence. Okay. Is there a reduction on that? Uh, I'll let McCarry decide. You reckon you want an, we were giving him uh, reduction sure, after he punched you in the face? I didn't punch him in the yeah. face. He, uh, yeah, I think he's gonna. He I think he's he got a couple of reductions already. <laughs> if you get my drip. Yeah, and brain cells. Yeah, you just give him something. Okay. Uh, he we'll, just caught yourself a. <laughs> we'll uh, <laughs> we'll reduce that down to fifty months. That sound about okay. good, guys. Sure, why not? All right, cool. Let's get you. Uh, let's get you sorted then. Okay. I right, should have just received your fine there, sir. Can I wait three days for this? Can you what? Can I pay this in three days? Because I ain't got that money. Motherfucker. <laughs> Trading cards, man. Listen. How are you going to say that? After, how are you going to say that after I find you? I'm just saying I'm going to reject it just to let you know, man. Oh, you could reject it. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, so he's got 72 hours. I mean, he already has a one. Yeah, 72 hours. <laughs> write it down. All right. Yeah, baby. Mm. On the report and on his profile. Okay. And so I'm, you understand I'm, what comes with that cash if you don't come back and pay it within 72 hours, yeah, right? I get a warrant, man. You I get know, another I warrant. You get another this warrant. It's not, bro. I get a warrant a day. It's, you know, it's what it is. All right. Uh, Y'all just don't like me. Let's get, let's get you sent them. Why don't you love? Probably because you just punched a fucking senior officer in I the face. I didn't punch nobody. I got, I tased. He hit me. Oh, you're not punching when you came out the cell? No, I rolled. Oh, you rolled, I see. You might have kicked him in the nose or some shit when you rolled. Yeah, he hit oh, me well. with the taser. Yeah, man. I got skill right. like that. Anything right, you want to say up. before I get you sent? Uh, come out as a biatch. Alright, have fun with Tyrone. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Tyrone's gonna show him his baton. It's not very professional, can it? 
<laughs> that that, that is run VZN true. in the profiles. Southside, Far Cry. Oh. I'm gonna go take this stuff into the evidence. Uh, what's the 713? I think, yeah, 713. Okay, so which one of you hunks wants a rim job? Oh, don't, don't front me, have a good time. Oh, fuck. Okay. Let's get that saved. Anyone run what I said? Uh, Sorry, sometimes. what did you want? V Z N. V or B? V Z N. Victor Zulu November. That's Vince Decker. Vince Deck, I think. When did Decker get his taser stolen? Well, uh, wait, what did Cash have on him? He had PD equipment? Was it some of mine? Um, I um, will take a look in a second. Um, could I get call signs of who was on that? Uh, Frank Mike 6. Oh, yeah. Sam 1 and Charles 2 were in Air 1. And Frank 24 attached by the railroad entrance. 10 you said Sam 1 and who? Is it Noah? Charles 2. Charles 2, alright, okay. Um, but, uh, right, I think. Armitage went on this as well. It was well. also Armitage with me. F21. Yeah, alright, so I've got myself F24, M6, S1, C2, F21. I'm missing anyone. This sounds about right. Right, tempo. All right, uh, I'm gonna hit a. Oh, let me get the cartridge and shit first. Uh, is there a quick way to copy this long ass serial number that you can think um, of? Is it an evidence yeah. bag? Uh, no. I... Okay, think about bag EV, and then find the weapon and put it in an evidence bag. Tempo. Uh, yes. Okay, now go I'm find that evidence bag that. in your pockets and then Ten uh, use it. Use it. Uh, and then you can click on the serial number and it'll, and copy. it'll copy it. Uh, perfect, thank you very much. And the detectives love the serial numbers being on the port, if I remember correctly. Eight Oxy Eleven watches, I think. <laughs> Have a look. Eight Oxy Eleven watches. Yeah. yeah. Eleven watches. Um. Eight Oxy. One Walter P ninety nine. Thirty one golden chain. And thirteen ten carat gold chain. It's um in the image links in the database. So um, please uh, copy the record from the database into the evidence as well. 
so far. So you said one golden chain and 13... Oh, 31 golden chain. Oh, yeah. And 13 tinkers. Thirteen ten carat chains. You guys had Gold a gun chains. on Mr. Mooney, didn't you? Uh, yes. Can you read me off the first four letters of the serial? Uh, so it was seven two I A D. Okay, here's a casing from that gun. What's your ID? Uh, hold on. Um, it would be. Let me uh, pull up my phone real quick. Just think about ID. Oh, uh, 25. Yeah, be sure. I need to run up to his. And we said uh, some image shit got posted. Adam one is seventy six with MLPD for a quick drive by and see who is calling. Do you see anyone? Bolo plate activated. Oh, whiskey Zulu seven. Could someone run the plate, please? That must be uh, going on a hazard, either axle or barrack. Seagull is westbound at Pushy Boulevard. Do we have a picture of what we took off no, of him, sorry? Outside. Yes, uh, image links. Oh, image links. In the database, yeah. Okay, and that is that is going to be saved, sir. Thank you. Car comes Thank back to an Axel Hampton. Um, all right, let's go that secure that evidence. Is in regard to yep. incident report seven zero two regarding a pop bomb threat we had the other day. Okay, so, if I remember this correctly, incidents left yep. side, report on the right side? Yep, just perfect. like if you look at it on your MVD, top to yep, bottom, perfect. first and second, first and second, yep. Oh shit, I need to you remember. see what I already placed in there, there's also okay. evidence from the initial scene. Let's see. Uh, spent case, oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, most up on the initial warrant. Do we separate the casings and the like guns and stuff like that? Uh, no, as long as it's all in there. Ten four. Uh, right. Could you double check that? Pretty sure I got that all in there. Yep. Okay. Got the local three nine nine. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Perfect. That's my uh. That's my first uh, first report and process. Let me actually. Did you write the um report already on the incident? Uh, I did, sir. I'm adding the that he needs to add a find to his profile now. Yeah. Let me read this quickly. Let's bring that from here. Fantastic. Can you even mention the uh, report number for the Magellan Girls? Very good. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, um, Rod, are you planning on becoming a detective if you can? Um, I'm kind of, I want, basically, I want to explore, I want to get certifications for everything, explore yeah. everything and see where I'm best fit. Um, I want to be certified for everything and then I'll just do what I need, to, like where I'm needed the most. Um, David. 
I'm pretty flexible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah detective is on the certification. It's a separate division. So okay. Go down. Yeah. Once you get to, I think it's PO2 or PO1 even. Yep. They say you just to fill in the fast track and then you can ask to be placed somewhere. I'm currently waiting on uh, being moved to the detective division. Oh, right, nice. So I might just get affirmation on that. Yep. They probably do have a place open, so I'm, you know, keeping my hopes up. Yeah, yeah, nice. Um, yeah, do they, um, do you have, like, a choice between SWAT and detective? Because in previous cities, it, um, you choose I believe one SWAT is, uh, SWAT is just, like, a certification that you go through, and then when, you know, the SWAT okay, team is called in, everyone available will be partaking. Okay. And uh, being part of the SWAT uh, team also enables you to have permission on using an SMG. Okay. And one on it's just uh, training that you do, and then when SWAT is needed, you can go for it. I'll you both in that car if we have two Adam ones. Oh, the radio is so fucking Both in the same car. Cool. I can't even hear you over the radio. Did you say something? I can see your mouth moving. The individual's gonna be walking southbound along I can't hear you at all. I can see your lips moving. Test two. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, sweet. Um, so basically, I want to get certification for everything, and then just when I'm needed, I can just do whatever. Um, yeah, yeah. Did you hear that, sir? Oh, shit, my lips. How about now? Radio check. Ten two. Ten two. I'm also slightly concerned as to why this individual was uh, just sat there meditating in the middle of the road. Radio check. Ten two. Ten two. Ten two. No. Hello. Can you hear me? Hey guys. Hey. Oh. Hello. Oh my god. This is fucking weird, man. Rank twenty four ten seven ten one two. Have a good night. Thanks for your service. Alright, let's go back to duty. That was so confusing, man. Any fingerprints? Uh, negative on the fingerprints. Just look like slight tampering to a lock on the Ten door. Four. And did you witness this individual near the car? Thanks, Thanks, you, sir. Yeah,
be an active 1080 with a grey in colour Karuma going into altar parking. Sir, so, do you have any idea how fast you were going? Too fast for you. That was a three seven in. Uh, back. clearly not, because I'm I'm stood right here next to you. Yeah, because I split up. I parked up. Oh, I see. I see. Can you get back in your car for me, please? I'm back in for a shit, and I've left the stove on. You just hop in the car for me, please, sir. Going, you should have said no. I, I don't want to. <laughs> I should have said no. I don't never, say never, never the admit to the speed you're doing. He should know. He's got radar. So just uh, get into your car for me, please. You what really want the apartment to burn down? I, I do not, sir, but I need to uh, check you have your license registration. Can you provide that for me, please? You turn off the I engine? Got it. It's in my apartment. All right, cool. Can you uh, take off your mask with me then, please, sir? I need to identify you, sir. Perfect, thank you. My name is Steve Jimmy. Steve stop. Jimmy, okay. Oh my god. You wouldn't be lying to me. to me. No, I wouldn't lie to you. Silver in colour. Sultan Classic four door. That'll be an Axel Hampton. Wanted for a warrant. Alright, so uh, it looks like your uh, vehicle's fine, not reported stolen or anything like that. But uh, just make sure you're slowing it down, okay? I don't want uh, don't want someone dying. I don't want you to hit them. I want hit him. I'm a former rally driver. Uh, former rally driver. Yeah. The only rally ah, yeah. happens on a game. Sitting there playing on your Nintendo Switch. Alright, well, uh, just make sure you're obeying the laws, alright, sir? Alright, thank you very much. Ten four, we are currently southbound Upper Power Street, taking another UE ten twenty two. Southbound Upper Power Street, taking a right Upper Power Street, heading onto San Andreas Avenue. Taking a right onto Las Lagunas Boulevard, northbound. Dude, 36 attached. Some additional, please. Thank you. Driver is uh, driving erratically. Taking a right onto Occupation Avenue. And another right back onto, I believe, Alter Street. Taking a left onto. Something way. Taking a right onto Strawberry Avenue. Taking a left onto Rays Avenue eastbound. Taking a left onto Popular Street, southbound. Taking a right onto Vespucci Boulevard, westbound Vespucci Boulevard. Taking a right 
Continuing down the Special Boulevard, taking a left. Currently on Special Boulevard still. Taking a right onto Magellan Avenue, taking a right. Currently on Bay City Avenue, taking a right. And towards the movie studio, taking a left at the movie studio. And a right on North Norfolk Drive, left. Currently on Morningwood Boulevard, taking a right. Taking another right. Taking a left. Currently on northbound Marathon Avenue. Taking a left. Right. Taking north, going on to the overhead car park on Boulevard Del Perro. Coming off of it, heading eastbound. And it, Boulevard Del Perro. Taking a right on San Vitus Boulevard, southbound. Taking a left, moving around, going up Las Lunas Boulevard. A bit lane to travel, taking a right, eastbound. Is primary double crewed? Is there a primary double or single crude? Single. Uh, Alright, Tim Bell, Secretary, Secretary could take comms, it's going to be continuing south on Power Street. Okay, primary will take it. Um, oh, Tim Bell. Continuing south Power, uh, power Street. Taking a left heading eastbound on Adam Blackwell Boulevard. Left heading northbound towards Legion, past Bean Machine, taking Bean Machine, pretty alley alleyway, out into Legion Square, going northbound Legion Square, east side, taking a right, heading eastbound towards them RPD. Southbound, and a right, going back towards Legion Square, going southbound, and another right, Adam's Apple. Taking a west towards Ulta on Vespucci. Driving erratically, taking a left towards Ulta Apartment. Southbound. Ulta Street, going south side. Going up to the garbage depot. Taking a left. Heading southeast, in a bit of 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 a Taking a right, heading northeast, continuing right, heading east. Full Boulevard, taking a left, going northbound. Northbound behind MRPD. Left on Adam's Apple, going westbound. A right, going towards M MRPD. Another left, going westbound into Legion.
Silver four door Karen Sultan Classic with a spoiler, blue underglow. Delta Alpha 9 is not, uh, not the one we're looking for. A local? Everything okay there, Peralta? Yeah, just a little 10.50. 10 hey, you okay? <laughs> Anyone in there? Uh, nah. Uh, seems to be uh, unoccupied. Uh, step back, I don't want to impound your shit. <laughs> what the? Um, I've just had calls. that silver in colour Sultan pull up on me at the X Row Zero gas station just by Beaver Square. Uh, the individual from the vehicle has just spat at me and is currently stood outside his vehicle still. Step forward. Is this the one on strawberry? Uh, ten four, yeah, the one on strawberry. Could be twenty. 
funny for you now. I'm gonna need fuel if you can stick on that. I will attempt to, I'll keep you updated. Be back in pursuit of a silver in colour Sultan Classic. It's gonna be heading southbound Strawberry Avenue in wrong lane for travel. Adam 1 attaching as soon as possible. Well, it's but I'm not. We're going to be hitting the alleyways behind Vanilla Unicorn. It's going to be a 10.50 with a building. Okay. And I should call it quits, but I'm not. It's going to be a left left out of the alleyway to head northbound Strawberry Avenue towards Leeson Square. It's going to be a left left onto Vespucci Boulevard and a right right onto Elgin Avenue northbound. It's going to be a right right onto San Andreas Avenue heading westbound. Speed. He's going to be making a U-turn. Correction. Double U-turn. Correction. He's trying to play Ring of Roses with me. Wh which way is he going? State his location. Heading northbound Lower Power Street. Turn four. He's going to be making a U-turn to head back southbound Lower Power Street. Right on Vespucci Boulevard. Left. Adam 1 requesting to take over primary. Cutting through into Alter Apartment. Car park. Late lock confirmed. Back. Then 4. Taking a left. Never mind, Huey. Going back towards Alter Apartment. Right, heading northbound, Eastwood Street. Deep 36, we're attached. Continuing up to uh, Southwood Gunas Boulevard, San Antonio. Oh, never mind. Heading up towards the City Hall on. Heading past the City Hall, going westbound. Going, going through Mansa Luna. This guy is weaving. Southbound through all alleyway, coming out on Palomino Avenue, heading west, southbound. Seeing swerve, taking a left, heading eastbound on Vespucci, taking a left, going northbound. Right, going east. San Andreas Avenue. Going lower power, continuing through to Legion. Negative, heading north, lower power. Going now for an integrity way. Alter Street. Taking another left U turn, going northbound, Alter Street. Then 50 with a wall, like an idiot. Going past Benny's. Down 
south side. Taking a little left, going eastbound. 24-7 on. Innocent Boulevard, taking a left, going northbound. Going up. To left and westbound, Adam's Apple. Turning right, going northbound on Alta Street. Turning into the car park. Alta. Oi. Coming out the top of Alta Apartment. Taking a right, heading eastbound on the Gucci. Taking a left, very slowly going northbound. Alta Street. Weaving like a goddamn psychopath. Opposite lanes of travel. Taking a left going northbound. Howard Avenue. Right going. Eastbound and another left going northbound. Our street. We got a left going westbound on Pinewood Boulevard. Take a left going southbound. And they break check us, we missed them. Currently heading westbound to the Guna place. Left going southbound on La Laguna Boulevard. Found on Elgin Avenue. Taking a right, heading back towards Alta. Taking a left, going across Benny's. Continuing south side. Continuing through the alleyway. Forum Drive Alleyway. Going eastbound past Binco. Going southbound to Strawberry. Going through the Lucky Blocker. This is taking a left going west on Davis Avenue. Going east even. Left again going northbound. Might be a long chase, guys. He's got fuel. Also flipping the bird. Very nice. Currently going Swiss Street westbound, taking a left going southbound off of Power Street. Taking a right going westbound. This guy must be low on fuel then. Keep us posted on their actions, please. Uh, he's taking opposing uh, lanes. Heading southbound on Upper Power. Feel free to pet the individual that's getting involved. Don't 
Send one back to Nate. Northbound, up in power, gaining distance. We've got an individual interfering with a police chase here. This is westbound, heading towards. Taking a north on Laguna Boulevard. He didn't come right. Yeah, we've lost uh, visuals. I have the interface vehicle on me. Cool, let's go for them too. Hit them vehicle. with an obstruction. He just had a head on. Lexus plate 6, Delta Alpha yeah, 9. Tuning. I'm sorry, your plans have uh, traveled to a very apparent to us. That was an obstruction of justice instead of stop our mouth. Yes, you are. Step out, be detained. I will kick you out if I have to. Step out. Sitting. There are a couple of us taking up, they're coming with you. I'm just gonna code six nearby gas stations. I think the original vehicle will probably be low. Is to search the car and all that other good stuff, who's using their crime. Adam 1 on route to MRCD with 295. have additionals with us, we got um, the evaded vehicle, South Legion Square, parked up. 
Fuck me. I got, I got one of the 95s and I'm taking them to the uh, kill post. Press F5. I don't think we have DNA or fingerprints. I've got fingerprints maybe, uh, but no DNA on the outfit. Can we BCP on the Sultan? Don't have DNA. I have eyes on the vehicle again, packed up at Legion Square. Haven't confirmed the plate yet, but it's exact same description. Yeah, that's gonna be the vehicle. Yeah, it's so far. Alright, so 1080 with original vehicle going to be westbound, making a left left at the Felicia Bank. Uh, making a right right, followed by right again, passing Legion. Uh, going back through the little cut through. Making a left going currently southbound, making a right Adams Apple Boulevard, going to be westbound. Right right, northbound power. Right, right, Vespucci Boulevard, eastbound. Uh, making a left run through the back parking lot area. Coming back out into Vespucci Boulevard, making a left going south eastbound.
Ray, followed by another right, Adam Saffold Boulevard. Secretary's Regain, eyes are going to be making a right onto Fuji Boulevard again. Eastbound, left, left, uh, northbound, Strawberry Avenue. Left, left again. Will be San Andreas West. Uh, left, left, down that back little parking lot area again. Come back out onto Fuji Boulevard, making a left. Right down the Fleeker again, and come in. Back out onto uh, uh, Elgin Avenue, making a right. And left, left, Strawberry Avenue, northbound. And le left, left again, San Andreas. Uh, Secretary John Pitt comes. Be making a right, followed by another right. Gonna be on Spanish. A VCB at the moment. That's all I heard. Could be continuing southbound down Power Street. Taking a left is Gucci Boulevard. Could be eastbound. And going behind the bank again. Bleaker Bank making a right again. Or by a left, gonna be southbound. Elgin Avenue making a right. Adams Apple Boulevard, westbound. And a left, left, left again. It could be currently southbound Power Street. Taking it down south side, going through the back alleys. Uh, 10.50 on Farm Drive. Uh, drivers on the radio. Delta 37, sorry, David 37 is going to be on the way back to reconnect. 10 4, we just packed up at Farm Drive right now. Suspects hit a wall and hasn't moved. Sir, you need to leave. get out of the vehicle with your hands up. Be her moving for cuffs. 10-4, be careful. Looks like it's fuel leaking from the vehicle. I can't hear you over your music, so it's loud. Uh, I'll have my arm bent like this at my shoulder. Okay, sit tight, oh right? shit. Oh my shoulder. Oh. Jesus Christ. Wait, right, let's have a look. Adam 1 is uh, okay. coming towards the scene as well. Dude, yeah, you fucked up your shoulder, man. Yeah, I'm here beat, on the you beat. You guys are suspect in custody? Oh. Oh, yeah, it's M4. God damn it. 
Take his uh, shoulders dislocated. I'm just gonna put you up against the top of my car. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna try and put your shoulder back in place. It's gonna hurt for a second. Am I okay doing this? Okay. Right, okay. Axel Hampton. You good now? Oh. He, I yeah, think he dis yeah, he dislocated his shoulder there. I think it's. Yeah. Um. Right, I think he's okay. good. We'll, we'll we'll talk talk about that in a little bit. Um. Just so just 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 a word of advice there, Axel. You next time you're in a pursuit or something, you may want to I don't know just encourage your friends to fuck right off and not get involved. Because it seems to be a reoccurring thing. What happened? Your compadres, Barry and Gianna, they interfered with a police chase. They are now waiting for you. <laughs> no, I'm not letting them know that. I'm just driving around blasting my music. Okay. Because they went away for something really, really pointless. Oh, and it could have been avoided if they just stayed the bro. fuck away. Was that sorry? Driver, bro. Yeah, I'm thank not you, saying it is. All I'm saying is, try to advise your friends to not be uh, idiots. It's one of the uh, things I, I take know. pride in. Oh, ah, I like to think that maybe someone in your group might actually be the brains at this point, but I think your uh, brains may have died with a certain someone. <laughs> Alright, let's send him away. I hope she went hard on him. Damn. In the future, keep that bitch away from me. I don't want to talk to her else. Oh. <laughs> Stop doing crime and I won't have to talk to you. Go fuck yourself, officer. I like her really, I'm just... Just busting her balls. Alright, do you need, uh, do you need pillbox or are you okay? I'll be fine. You'll be fine? Alright. Uh, dead 36, only 76 into a map, he do one times no five. Your boys are in trouble and you still got caught. Yeah. My fault, I rolled my car. <laughs> Sorry. Got that box that was there. Fucking oh, cardboard God. box. Lord. Ah. You fucking hit a cardboard box? I hit a cardboard box at the fucking God damn. Car. <laughs> oh. Alright then. The uh, suspect already been Mirandaized. Uh, negative, not Mirandaized. Please do read his rights. Alright, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you need to say can only be used against you in a court law. Uh, you have the right to be an advised, attorney. This is oh, acting on. on a warrant 702 domestic terrorism arson. Turn for. Felony uh, public endangerment. Alright, let me go from the top, sir. So, you have the right to remain silent, and if you say cannot be used against you in a court of law, you have the right to legal counsel present while being questioned. If you do not have legal counsel and one is available, the state will provide it. You can send your rights as I have read them to you. Alright, let's get your fingerprint here. Just make sure you scan the shirt for me. Okay. There we go. All right, just scan that right there for me, please. All right, thank you. Come on, you gotta admit, until the cardboard box, it was some driving on my part. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, not not too shabby. I'll give you that. It was a fun chase. It would have been nice yeah. to continue the chase, but well. I rolled my car. All right, I'm just gonna <laughs> search you, sir. Let's have a look what we got. Hey, Armitage, I didn't mean what I said. I. I was just, just acting hard. Well, that disappoints me. I was really hoping you would mean what you said. 
No, I don't hate no one. I just... The only thing you've got on you is a knife. I think that's good. Yes. Okay, it's okay, he's not being brought in for like weapon charges. Not today. <laughs> I'm gonna get you in soft cuffs. Can you uh, go up to the uh, cell walls there, please, and spin around for me? There we go. Perfect. Let's get you uncuffed here. Whoops. Uh, Ooh, I need to eat Jesus. When, yeah, we uh, don't want you passing out. Low, nom, nom, nom. I was the one who searched her. She had a gun on her. It's what was with the what was happens. with the speeding and everything in anyway. that, that anyway? Yeah, uh, I didn't know she had a gun on her. Well, you see lights and you speed. Yeah. You, you don't just think, it's hey, I'm gonna slow down and, and see what they want. In all honesty, it's well, the police have been harassing me the last couple of days. I mean, it, regardless of that, that of if you have a complaint in regards to that, you come to one of our supervisors and we'll deal with it. No, I just didn't want to figure out what it was about. I just couldn't be bothered, so I drove away. Okay. Cause I don't, I don't know what, I've, uh, what have I done with? Nothing. Right. I You're gonna think. stay put just for a second. Okay. I think you're in a little bit of trouble here, boss. Mm mm. No, we're not. He's not. If you're, if you're thinking about the questioning, that that's moot by this point. Okay. See, that that's the thing. I just wanted to pull you over for a little bit of a question. <clears throat> and it turned into something else. Well, I don't know. I just... Every time the police light me up, they normally arrest me, so I thought, fuck it. If you want legitimate charges right now, I can give you several. Uh... Let's have a look. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting stabbed right. on right now. Come, come <laughs> with me, come with me. <laughs> Yep. Express your worries. Wait, what? Sorry? You're saying we're in trouble here, boss. Go on. Express oh, your no, worries. I'm just saying it is spinning away from us. in trouble. Right, gotcha, gotcha. Um, so, which one did you say we're looking at? So, I we got a bolo. Basically, yep. to pull him over for questioning about okay. a bomb threat. Oh. Now, if he had just pulled over, that would have been fine. Yep. Instead, what he chose to do was run, reckless yep. uh, vehicle, uh, reckless endangerment, yep, yep. felony evading, speeding, third degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll see what the others want to say first, because okay. I think they're out there discussing that. So. Okay. Alright, you go. Your shoulder good now, or...? Yeah, just a little bit sore. I haven't got any kind of, like... Bane meds or anything like that, but, uh... Do I have any in there? Do I have... Oh, um... Mm. There is... Probably should just keep my mouth shut, but I'm gonna be honest. In my pocket... Is a piece of pistol ammunition. Oh, that's not illegal, is it? Uh, I don't know, because I don't have a license. I, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure... I, I wouldn't think it is. Um, pistol ammunition itself isn't around illegal, around right? If we don't got any detectives around, because we never seem to have any fucking um, detectives around. Um, it doesn't stop the fact that we tried to pull him over and he chose to run instead of hear us out. Because David, thank you for having been a traffic stop um, with a yellow in colour lowrider uh, northbound Elgin Avenue outside of the field. You basically the works. Mm -hmm. Ten four. Apparently he's got a problem with us going on a hunt for him. Well, I told him he should have been, uh, should have gone to one of our supervisors then. Because as far as I'm aware, oh. he didn't do that. Well, domestic terrorism is a very serious charge. He made a threat to MRPD, mm -hmm. you know, pretending like he was going to bomb it. So, uh, the report says that he, he should be questioned on it. But like you said, there's no detective, so... Would we not do that at all if there's no one around? No, we can still question him. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I mean... We can, um... Just take him into the interrogation uh, room, start reporting, 
and ask him just simple questions. What, you know, what made him want to do that? Stuff like that. Just get more information on what happened. We know that he's a friend of Barry Cornell, right? Because remember going through some bomb uh, readout reports. What are you uh, stretching really? for? Hey, You're not going anywhere. Threat. Dispatch gave us a signal that was very local to um, his, well, his whereabouts at the time of receiving messages regarding the bomb. Very close. Uh, I'm was, pretty sure uh, an officer saw him uh, actually on the phone when one went through as well. That would be me. That would be you. Yeah. So, Sergeant, how do you want to play this? Do we want to take him in? Obviously, it's pretty clear that he is the one who did it, so... Um, yeah, it's just that the officer who wrote up the warrant wants it, additional questioning to be to be uh, done. So Isaac Atlas. Hmm. He's currently forty-two, isn't he? Yeah. That's if I may be uh, saying something as well. I there was a thick bomb threat, ID 235, under section reports. Uh, Barry Canal is one of their accomplices, is, it, is he not? So... Would, be, would it be reasonable suspicion to say that they... Uh, that this would likely... Well, fuck, I forgot what I wanted to say. There we go. I, I want, I'm you, agreeing with saying... the treatment. Uh, guilt by association as evidence. Possibly. I mean, it means they've done it before. I'm not sure everyone here would agree with that sort of mentality. I would, but I hate gangs. It, it's not that I'm going with that kind of mentality. It's just it, it's noticeable. David, three, seven, eight, it's Personally, I'm not seeing this as a, a attempt by an individual. I'm seeing this as an attempt by the unknown. For, uh, unnecessary use of a horn. So they get the late hours of the night. Brush. Simple, you have a nice time. Not barely the rest of that. Like I said, we can take him into an interrogation room and question him on his whereabouts that day, why he made those calls, because the calls that he made were from his phone. That's concrete evidence right there. And okay. he said, MR he said MRPD go boom, tick tick, so we'll ask him, we'll question him on those calls, see what he says, if he admits to it or not. To look at that camera. No individual on the scene. Uh, Jesus Christ. The city falls apart to pieces, it really does. Alright, fuck it. Seven is going to be responding to that dispatch call about a store robbery on the Vespucci Canals. You're right there, buddy. Uh, just be advised there's a guy kind of stumbling out the store. He's not wearing shirt, not wearing gloves. He's in his tight whiteies and black boots. Um, he exited the store and headed right. Which camera are you looking at? You are soft cover at, at this six. time, so you can feel free to move. If you'd like to come out here, six. please. And make your oh, that's way... A, that's the local one. Oh, like if you'd like to follow us. Essentially a drunkard outside. Could I get an additional to my location, please? Uh, I'll go. 10 farm on route bus. Put them in a back get in, head out of breath like an asthmatic. Good summers.
Oh, uh, he's, I think he's just drunk. Oh, and fuck, he is bleeding. He's straight through the door. Sir. Let's get you some medical attention, okay? Just, uh, oh, fuck. I don't want to kind of go in and push the door on him. So, are you able to stand up? Yeah, just come step away from the door and, uh, lean against this wall over here for as well, uh, try to get you right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the back of the store. Okay, I believe it's just a drunk individual, but, uh... LSPD, make yourself known if you're in here. LSPD, if you are in here, make yourself known. Stars clear. Uh, Prog, that individual has just been struck by a vehicle. Oh, fucking hell. Fucking hell. Alright, oh. so let's try to get this individual to the side of the road yeah. and uh, get him sorted out. Jeez. I mean, he, uh, we need to detain him and check that uh, he wasn't the one that's robbed a star. It's okay. uh, very so unlikely, uh, but... Uh, Alright, sir, I'll I'm just gonna. So Ten four. So I'm gonna put your hands behind your back for you, and I'm gonna put you in cuffs, okay? <gasps> then we can get you some medical attention, alright? Right. right. I'm just gonna get you inside my cruiser so you're safe, okay? Wait here for me, Sarah, okay? I'm gonna uh, check the star. Give me a fingerprint. Oh, hello. I've got a fingerprint. You've got a print? Have you got yeah. a evidence bag or? Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. Okay, good. Right, I think so that's the only one. Yeah. Uh, do you want to come over here? I just want to chat before you. Yep, yep. Uh, obviously, I reckon if we initially detain him for. It was suspect uh, of, the uh, the yeah. Store, but we've also got the drunk and disorder in a public place. We could probably get him on as well. Yeah. He is stumbling all over the place, and I saw him with an open container up by Burger Shop there. He looked to be drinking from a bottle of whiskey. Yeah. Do you see? Uh, you see that car? You reckon that belongs to him? Uh, potentially. However, there's technically no proof he was driving. No. It, yeah. So, um, we could. Uh, we can run the plate. See if it comes back to him. I guess. Uh, I'll run the plate, get a name, and I'm going to see if it matches. Cool, tempo. Uh, I'm going to take him up the pillbox then. Alright, so let's get you some medical, okay? So, are you with me? How uh, the fuck is it locked? More drinks, please! The, uh, there we go. Right, so, let's get you some medical. Yeah, tempo on your last. Be 76 in two pill box to get medical for the suspects. The vehicle here is going to be coming back to a Logan and Bab. What's your name, boss? Hello, sir. Yo, Evie, you were you an actual G, bro. I appreciate you. How's your stream? You should join this uh, 5M server. Turn for. The server's sick. You should join it. Turn for. Are you good? My leg! That is Jacob Rotler, it is. At it again, you already know. Wait, what the fuck? So, are you able to check in here? We'll get you some medical. <laughs> right, 
Alright, I've just checked him in. Oh, hell yeah, have you? Brooklyn 99 slabs. Alright, so. Let's have a look at you. I think they've cleaned up your cuts. What are you doing, you tighty whities? Alright, so I'm just going to be searching you um, as we had uh, Star Robbie go off, and as soon as I checked the cameras, you were the only person I saw. Um, so we're just going to take you down to the uh, the PD and we're just going to run some checks, okay? Okay. Alright, what's your name, boss? Steven. Steven? You sure? Hey. Hey. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? No. Steven what? John. Steven John. Is what right. you're telling me your name is. Okay. I didn't lock my cards. Embarrassing. Alright, let's 76 MRPD and we can run some checks. Ten four. You already know. You said 360? God damn. Uh, 180, sorry, not 360. Yeah. I feel he's, uh, he's a little bit sus. So I think his name's going to be Logan. All right, let's get you, uh, let's get you checked out, sir. You, uh, you've been streaming Modern Warfare 2, Eevee. Alright, sir, can you scan your fingerprint here for me, please? Perfect. 973, that is his fingerprint. Alright, looks like that print does come back to you. What were you doing in the, uh, looking at the safe of the store for? Numbers. Numbers? What numbers? Uh, Brand new zero. Ranked. Oh, yeah. Uh, zero. Oh, didn't. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, alright. Alright, sir. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say cannot be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to a legal counsel present. While being questioned, if you do not have a legal counsel, one is available as it will provide it. Do you understand your rights, sir? Uh-huh. All right, cool. So what do you say you're doing in the store at the back? Numbers. Numbers. Mm-hmm. Well, that's no good. Uh, yeah, you've not got anything of interest on you. Okay, let's get you a... Uh... But you uh you just take a chill there. You use the bed, use the toilet, whatever you need. So is this the owner of that vehicle from before? Logan Bell. Um I don't have a DNA swab so I'm unable to do it. I can check his um fingerprint though, which I'm about to do now. Yeah, that's fine. Because <laughs> if that is the vehicle that belongs to him, then um he's got a prior Maybe earlier today, if I can double check. Uh, yeah, he'd have a prior for yesterday for trying to access a safe, but he was let off with a warning with okay. the prior. Okay. Well, he's, uh, so he's, record. Yeah, his fingerprint hasn't come back to anyone, so. Okay, well, we can't confirm this game then. Oh, um, will you be able to DNA swap this suspect? His fingerprint isn't on our system. DNA test or fingerprint? Uh, DNA I swab. Just try and see if he's got an ID tucked in his boxes. No, he didn't have any ID. Oh, he had that no I could ID see. on him. You'd like to uh, enter into the cells there, aren't you? Excuse me, sir. Can you hear me? Oh. Yeah. Does that mean yes? Yeah, if you want to. Hello. Them, they're all on puppy. Hello. Uh, would you mind if I take a DNA test here? Here. Mhm. Mm I'm just to make this as quick as I can. Here 
There you go. Perfect. Ooh. This is really awkward without having any. Thank you. Mm. All right. Uh, Peter, suppose you just got to call it the morgue. We need to try and get a name off this guy. Oh. Uh oh. Um. Hang on. What? 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 Uh oh. I accidentally dropped it. Let's see if we can grab that. Woohoo! Did you grab that? Uh, he, he's grabbed that. <laughs> Come here. Let me take that out of your pockets. Thank you. Shit, what is it? Oh, there we go. Right, if we do get in, yeah, well, get you come back. So, what, what's your name, sir? Tim1107042. Hey. What is your name? Stephen. Stephen. Then for the free service. John. Stephen John. Let me just call right. that here. Adam, Steve. Steven, there is no one on our system called Steven John. Oh no. So, so would you like to stop lying to us and tell you what your real name is, or we'll just be adding more charges on? That's obstruction, <laughs> obstruction right there. And fail to provide a valid form of identification. I didn't do it. That's it. Do you have ID on, on you? Um, I got a burger. That's uh that's, that's not identification, sir. Shit. We okay. need so you're gonna hate me for this because I do this too. We need to identify you, sir. So don't take this personally, but you should definitely think about Gang maybe man. changing your affiliation, Mr. Unknown. Well uh so we're kinda we're gonna be here until uh, you can provide us with your your actual name, affiliating sir. Affiliating with known gang members. You, um, Simple as that. Find better friends. Mm-hmm. Aha! Group of friends don't usually name themselves. Logan Bav. Nah, Logan good. Bav. Hello, We're here. Logan. Hey, look at that. That uh, matches up a little bit, doesn't it? Okay, so you, uh, we'll be looking at felony vehicle right, endangerment so swab, right? for the uh, reckless operation I've got the swab, of the vehicle. Yeah. Felony uh, evading because you try to evade us stuff. when we, we simply want to pull you over for yeah, a quick we'll side. Impeding traffic, so which you've done uh, multiple occasions. Uh, you were found with a blade, but you know what? I'll drop that one because why not? Um, failure to maintain a lane, which you right, did. Logan, turn around for me, please. So I'm gonna get you in soft cuffs. Illegal U turns. Failure to yield to a traffic control device. And right, follow me, please. Oh no! This way, please, Logan. Help! You mean help? Come on, in that room there, please, Logan. Uh, oh, that one. All right. Yeah, yep. come uh, this way, Logan. We're going for a, we're going for a different but, one. Um, I don't stack charges. Did you attack yeah, we'll come just, on, Logan. Uh, grab his here. Uh, I've already got that. Oh, you've got a print sound. Okay. Um, right. right, let's go, Logan. All right, here, please. Oh, oh. door locked. Uh, so would you mind oh, taking no. the um? Right there, Logan, please. Would you mind if we were to take the glasses off for you, sir, as well, just so we can uh, get your eyes in the mug shot. Where's yeah. he gone? He's just lying down. Oh. There we go. Uh, over there, please, in front of the numbers. Just here. Turn okay, and smile. If you could uh, turn and face the camera for us. Give us your best mug shot pose. Cheese. Perfect. Oh. Yippee. Right, just hold fire for a second for us, sir, and uh, we'll go get you. Alright, let's get you sorted now, let's get you moved. This one here, please, sir. It's more fun to deal with it this way. True. I'll, I'll give you that. Alright, Logan. <laughs> get you uncuffed. Logan. It is. Logan. Wait, do you know that man over there, sir? Who? Him? Uh, yeah, the gentleman shouting at you from over there. Um, hello? Logan. Hello? It's me. Hola, amigo. 
Do Look at my booty. I'm sending you a fine for the 9,000. Um, let me just check to see what this guy's in for, and I'll try and match it. Why not? Um, what was he in for? Um, so I turned up to a call of a disturbance at a store. Upon arriving, this gentleman was walking up the street, uh, rather intoxicated, drinking from an open bottle. Um, we then investigated the store and found his fingerprints all, all over the safe. So he's been trying to tamper and access the safe, which looking on the uh, his criminal record, he tried to do only but a few hours ago. Okay. okay, so you got robbery and you got uh, public intoxication, yeah? I uh, did do yes. it. And was he nude? Uh, he's what he's wearing right now. Shorts, yes. Okay, can you try and do him for a decent exposure and tell me how long that's going to bring him in? <laughs> can I have a kiss, please? No. Jesus Christ. Oh. Uh, kudos for trying, but no. <laughs> it's okay. Woohoo! He has also uh, already received medical treatment up at the pillbox. So, the uh. Shards when he fell through the door. So, Logan, the, uh, the, car, the car to the left of the uh, store? What was that? The one against the tree? Oh, yes, we do also uh, have this car. Before. That wasn't mine! I didn't drive it. Okay. It was that guy over there. So that guy that's been in custody the entire time was driving yeah. your car that uh -huh. was plowed into a wall just outside the store. <gasps> no, 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 wait, it was you. It was, you. In danger, man. It was okay. you. It was me. No, I was yeah. the one that I was the one that called uh Stephen the tow guy from the tow company. Oh shoot. Is this guy, much, this guy? How much time is this guy guy currently uh, doing with uh Go Intoxication, on. public in uh, vehicular endangerment, sorry. Um, indecent exposure and robbery. Uh, oh, just give me a kiss. We never actually saw him behind the, uh, the vehicle, <laughs> behind the wheel. No, yeah, we, never... no, no, we didn't see him behind the wheel, but the way that thing was abandoned in oh, okay. the wall. I told you it wasn't me. Okay, so scratch that because of lack of proof, yeah. but the rest uh, of it, how much does that Robbery, do? indecent exposure, did you say there was another one? Robbery, I mean, indecent exposure, illegal, and public intoxication. Uh, public intoxication. Oh, this guy was him. Was him. Uh, all right, so he'll be looking um, at twenty-seven fifty with recommended twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Okay. We're gonna set you as twenty-nine. Oh my lord, lord! Okay. Is he a friend of yours? Oh. All right, Logan. Good guy, nobody. Can't be that good. Ooh. You call him the goat. Uh, you know, Logan, the uh, the system's decided to be difficult, and it hasn't saved your fingerprints. So we're gonna go do that again real quick. Come over here for oh, me, no. please. That's. <laughs> that, that, that Did was you me. break? No, that was that was me. Okay. How the hell? Want me to go and cuff? Yeah, maybe. Nope. I uh, do not send him cuff, by the way. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Uh, no, we just need to re get his fingerprint. The uh, scanner didn't quite pick it up. Alright, mm. let's go, Logan. Get your, get your number again. <laughs> Logan! <laughs> Come on. Don't be, don't be hard, Logan. Get, scan your finger here. Alright. Yep, yeah, got you. Yeah. Alright, let's get you in uh, your cell again, Logan. Alright, come back and I'll uncuff you. Alright, Logan, are you having a piss? Okay. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah, Logan, take this drink. Much better. Anim 1 is 76 for the um, more for That'll make you much better. Ooh. 
All right then, Logan. You ready to get sent off? You ready? Yeah. All right. Um. So yeah, you're looking at public intoxication, robbery, and decent exposure. How are you playing to those, sir? I'm not drunk. You'll also be I've very just... glad to hear this Captain is. Cox in Bolingbroke are hiring at the moment. So I guess go have fun. You're drunk. I am not drunk, sir. All right, c Logan, come here, please. Can you uh, blow into this, please, just consistently? Don't blow fast, just blow hard and consistently, okay? Okay, go. Go, 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 blow, blow. L Logan, you gotta blow on it. Oh. Yeah, Logan, put, put your lips on just it and blow. On continuous breath, sir. I'm fucked. Any, any attempt, you see them so much as raise a gun, you fucking shoot that shit. Logan? I'm off the charts. Put it, huh? Next. I'm off the charts. Put put it in your mouth and blow. He's, he's admitting to being uh, drunk and disorderly at this point. Logan, if, if you're being difficult, we're going to hit you with obstruction. Do you know what that is? Vodka? Any more? Oh, you've been drinking vodka? Uh-huh. Oh, perfect. Oh, Thank shit. you very much. There we go. It wasn't me, it wasn't me. Send them away, and then I'm gonna go probably. Go <laughs> and, uh, All right, hey. let's get you fined, Logan. Uh, are you ready to be fined? Ah, uh, yeah. Perfect. Fuck there you, you are. Baldy. I am far from bald, sir. Baldy. <laughs> Fucking baldy. All right, Logan, we're going to get you sent away. You want too much trouble, so we'll only send... We'll give you a bit of a reduction, so we'll send you away for 23, all right? Okay. Try sober up. See if you can get some work done to uh, to get your sentence reduced, maybe, but... All right. Good day. In a bit. Ah, oh, perfect. Let's get this right. done. Nicely. Right, I will catch you around. I'm going to... Head off to the, uh, yeah, no worries, brother. Head back to my apartment. Have a good, have a good one. Yeah, you too, mate. David three seven is gonna be ten forty two ten seven. We love this semi. Enjoy the rest of your patrol. Yo, man, it's Tony Revoloni. Uh. So many good songs, dude. We fuck with this one. Da, 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 Wife and my son.
Feels like I'm very ready to die. I don't, I don't know why I'm my mind. Doing what I gotta do. We'll make our way upstairs and check out the other areas of this hospital as well. That's cool. I know that I gotta get down Do what I gotta do to get down Yeah Hey yo, fuck affiliation and that dude who did it on his own Never won it though. Run it though. I can still add a hundred.
uh, David Thirty Six gonna be going ten forty two ten seven for the night. Ten four. Take ten four. Thank you for your service. Stay safe, guys. Boston. Sick. Cool. Um, that's going to be the end of the stream then. Um, appreciate anyone that uh, 